hands rubbing together. It was the first idea I had, and I went with it. Uh, here's an even funnier note. I forgot to unmute us when we came on, so it's just you going. <laughs> no one will have any idea what that ever was. <laughs> but but I, it was so good. I do enjoy that. I <laughs> this is our years of connection. Is that I can tell you like we're gonna go live, and then you instantly know that means you, that you should start doing a bit. So, yeah, I should start being. I should start doing some kind of loud, annoying. Uh, musical number and you never fail uh can everybody hear us okay now hopefully that worked i just had us muted but no one is saying <laughs> thank goodness yet hey lemon well this is what you missed do, 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 do. Uh -huh. so you're welcome okay great <laughs> ashley got a new microphone she's very happy about it <laughs> it literally just came like minutes ago alex says sounds on lateral move Fair enough. <laughs> um, okay, we have a thousand pieces of housekeeping to do on our stream that no one watches, so that we don't need to do any housekeeping. No, but I'm so excited. And I genuinely haven't talked to you about any of these things until this moment. Here's the, the thing. Ashley put up this poll about what we should call the game. I didn't want to influence it by voting, so I haven't seen where any of the results stand. Oh, you don't know? No, no idea. Okay. Okay. So what, why okay. don't you announce the options and where we stand currently? Okay. So um, last stream, we talked about how this, whatever this is, needs some kind of ridiculous name. Yes. And a lot of, a lot of great options were bebopped around. Most of them were attempts to fit our names into some kind of adventure names. Yeah. So uh, a poll, a poll was put up. Oh, I can't say who no by who. who it was it. me. A poll was put up on Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so just so you guys know, here are some here are some options. Okay. Um, Duo Georgie. Just hate it. D Georgie Games. Sounds great. Love it. D Georgie. D Georgie Games. <laughs> The crime place. Wouldn't it be which is, of James? Pool. The way it read to me was yeah, the George James. The George James. Yeah. Or we could just say our name wrong. De George Games. Okay, I like that. I like the crime place a lot. The, the crime place, which is a pull from the previous previous game. Uh, Rash, which which is obviously Ryan and Ashley combined. Yep. No misinterpreting that. Other options were Twiblings, which is obviously Twitch and Siblings. I realized, Ash I Venture tell you, I hated for Rye Day. I hated Twiblings at, at first, and it's growing on me. Really? Ash Venture well, for Rye Day, still terrible. <laughs> Trials and Sibulations. That's strong. Siblings and Crime. Yeah, also strong. Okay. So the people voted. And I will tell you, would you like to know the scores right now? Yes. Uh, Ash Venture Farai Day got zero votes. <laughs> <laughs> Can't imagine why, but the people have spoken. Me neither. Um, this is the poll from Twitter. From Twitter. Uh, Twiblings got 10%. Good. Good. A showing. Siblings in Crime. Siblings in Crime got 30%. Very strong. And for those counting at home, that means that Trials and Sibulations got a winning 60% of votes. Wow. Out of a whopping 20 people, I, I think? <laughs> yeah. Well, plus Instagram. Now we're going to move to Instagram. Oh, oh, Instagram. Oh, I wasn't even thinking. Uh, you, Instagram, like the two-lap. Yeah, you sort of whittled it down to the top two for Instagram, it seemed. I whittled it down. So Instagram just had two options, which was siblings in crime and trials and simulations. Okay. And let me tell you, once again, trials and simulations took it home with 77% of the vote. That's, that's, it's a mandate if I've ever seen one. Well, and uh, that was like 80 people. Really? 80 people? So out of a, so out of a hundred people, trials and simulations overwhelmingly <laughs> in a very small sample group <laughs> won. You have more friends on Instagram than I encountered, accounted for. Uh, that's pretty good. Oh, I'm very popular. Okay, you're uh, um, 
you you're also well go on so good oh were you gonna compliment me i didn't mean to you're interrupt you're also <laughs> just so wonderful as a person i'm gonna say your video is Great. a little choppy choppy um oh is it just the way i move no it's just a little it looks a little delayed um we might have to do a quick a quick discord refresh here in a second but i want to say that i did a little um little research of my own and as far as i can uh -huh. tell no one has used the name trials and simulations yet for anything on the internet uh -huh. so why i know <laughs> so it may be it's such an obvious choice it may be time to stake our brand <laughs> i like that it doesn't i mean pen us into one kind of game although it also doesn't say anything yeah. about anything but that's kind of fun no it doesn't quite make sense but also it makes so much sense yeah yeah Okay. Okay. Well, I think we should um, should give that some strong thought, but it sounds like a pretty good pretty good name to me. Now it has been pointed out that I spelled trials wrong, but you know what? That's part of the charm <laughs> in the poll. Uh, yeah, trails and simulations. <laughs> well, that's yeah. our that's our chemtrails <laughs> podcast where we talk about how the yeah. government's taking over our minds. Yeah. Hashtag trails again. That's our catchphrase. It's a great catchphrase. Um, mm -hmm. All right, well, I might real quick have you restart Discord to see if we can make this look a little better. Okay. Is that good? Okay. All right. I'm gonna, yeah, no problem. I, I'm going to restart Discord too, and then we'll rejoin the call here. Hold on. All right. Everybody relax. It's just going to be me for a second. Ashley's going away to a farm. All right. Now that she's gone, trials and simulations. I would never call it. No, I'm just kidding. It's a good name. Um. I also still like siblings in crime. The problem is siblings is an awkward sounding word, but there isn't really a better word that means brother and sister, right? Um, it's fine as a word, but it's just not as snappy as like brothers or sisters would be. What I'm trying to say is I resent Ashley for being a girl. That's pretty much what I'm trying to say. Actually, I resent myself for not being a girl. Then we could be the, the trouble sisters. That's a much better name. Ugh. Always causing problems for myself. All right, so restarting Discord. How's everybody in the chat? It's nice to see you guys all every week. Alex is right. This is just a group of coworkers, essentially, and I'm fine with that. Starting this up again. Okay. Is she back? I don't see her yet. Hello? Hello? Okay. You look like you're better. Say say a few things. Do, 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 do. I'm going to call that... Do, 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 do. Okay, good, sure. I'm going to call that marginally better. Do, 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 oh. do, do. Now, that's much worse. <laughs> <laughs> Ashley. <clears throat> is, it my, is it my video? Uh, no, no, you're actually much, you're better now. I think it may be an internet thing, but you're fine now. Let's, we can go with it. Oh, I plugged in. You plugged in to I the plugged in. router? Yeah, I did. Oh, it should be better. But you plugged it in just now. No, I plugged it in before the stream. Well, I don't know why it'd be worse then. Oh, well, it looks good. You know what? You're doing great. Was it a video, video, get down? Hmm? <laughs> That's just all I thought of when I heard about video. Video, video, get down. Well, it's sad that Ashley's having an episode and we're going to have to take her <laughs> on to the hospital. But uh, it was fun while it lasted here on Trials and Simulations. Just, just another Trails and Simulations. <laughs> Ash, <laughs> uh, well, I, have lots, I got a lot to tell you about. Uh, but first, I need to crack open a delicious Mountain Dew Zero Sugar Melon. Oh. Uh, which I saw downstairs in the convenience store. Uh, as I tell you about... All of the, um, the melon screams House of Darkwing. <laughs> it's in my eyes. Oh, what a smell that has. Oh, okay. Try to describe it for us before the first sip. It's a rich bouquet. I would say okay. it is like when you crush up a bunch of Smarties into Sprite. Okay. You know what? That doesn't sound terrible, actually. It's not, I thought it doesn't I seem terrible. Oh, House of Darkness says it's like Melted Jolly Rancher. Okay. <gasps> oh, that's interesting. 
it's oh. at, it's at once better than I thought it would be, and worse. It's good. Is it is it strawberry or cherry or? It's supposed to be watermelon. Watermelon, it has a little yeah. Little bit of that kind of thing. The name melon would have tipped you off, I would have assumed. But that's okay. <laughs> well, it was. Sometimes things are just red, you know. <laughs> right. Sure, I understand. It's got sort of a little weird aftertaste, but you know what? I like it. I'm going with it. Um, yes, the do the weird. Yes, they're always pun. Yes, exactly. I agree. How so darkly? I'm gonna get a little yeah. rum in there, and you're actually doing great. Now, my favorite do is probably Code Red, although strong second Pitch Black, which is their grape variant that used to be a Halloween exclusive, and I always enjoyed that. I feel like whoever's stocking your your convenience stores, this is like just for you. Do, yes. do you ask a guy and he brings you out from the back? You're like crazy Jew flavors? I mean, there's like one little spot in the corner that seems like it could be like no one else can see it but me. Like it's a little uh -huh. enchanted corner. Of <laughs> it's like your room of requirement. Exactly. It knows what I need. Imagine, uh -huh. imagine being a person who needed this Mountain Dew. <laughs> Maybe it's maybe it's a Valentine's flavor if it sounds like Smarties in Sprite, which feels to me like a fourth grade Valentine's Day party. Yeah, and that's true. Wouldn't you like to go on a nice Valentine's date with Major Melon? Yeah! He's ready to have he's a great a, time. He looks like a catch. I got us a carriage ride, soldier. Now, he's definitely a watermelon, but they, for some reason, have made it very vague. Like, he's they could have called it watermelon flavor. He's not a cantaloupe. Or a honeydew. I a guess honeydew would have been the best. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of honeydew soda that you would get confused by. The major Mountain melon. Mountain Dew. Oh, that's not honeydew. That's like Mountain Dew was what they used to call moonshine. Yeah, but don't you think that they could have somehow... I mean, listen, you guys are the expert on puns. Ash Venture Friday. Sometimes I realize <laughs> just how many people's time we're wasting. I got so excited about it. Um, I have to tell you this. So first of all, I've actually found the instructions for this game, which is totally different from last time. We are. This is going to be episode one, everyone, of The Secret of the Silver Earring. And I'm very excited about it. It's going to be a whole new world of homes. No um, more mummies. No, bo no more broken game, hopefully. No. No more wandering around Lorinette Calf's mansion. No. Um, Although I loaded this up and I was like, great, it's, it runs in Steam. This is one of the ones we've actually paid real money for, although I think it was like $3. And it was like, great, we won't have all those terrible problems with like the mouse and everything before. Oh, that major melon's coming back up. <laughs> <laughs> He's mounting an attack. <laughs> Hi, Squirrel. Hey, Squirrel. Um, but anyway, so I loaded up. It's working great until I notice... I go to talk to, I was like, the characters are kind of tall and thin, but that could be like a design choice. Like, you know, yeah. like a fun, like sort of a European doll look kind of a thing. Sherlock's definitely tall and thin in my imagination of him. Exactly. And I'm just trying to make sure that it, it works. There's no problem. So I just click, the first guy I see, I just click so I could talk to him. And it cuts to a close-up of the guy. And he's like, yes, how can I help you? <laughs> and I'm like, uh, what's this thing? <laughs> well, it's over there. Thank you. I'm Sherlock Holmes's friend. Bye. <laughs> and I'm like, this doesn't seem right. Uh... But only the uh, characters were squid. You would think I was talking about like, oh, the wrong aspect ratio. But if you yeah. if you stretch, if you squish a video, everything gets squished, but stays in proportion. This was like cutting the frame off. Um, and only only the character was stretched, only right? Only the characters and not any of the other 3D models or backgrounds or anything like that. Uh, so I got our old friend DX Wind out, the same program uh -huh. that saved this last time. And I was like, let's start uh -huh. figuring out what to do. Spent hours trying to work on it. Couldn't figure out what it was. I finally found this DX Win support forum, and I was like, let me just post it. First of all, I did a search on this support forum, and there was a lot of posts about that other Sherlock game. So, <laughs> about the mummy one? They were like, we, we can't find the paintbrush. <laughs> Including people who are like, this isn't very good. I'm like, I agree. <laughs> He's clicking every third, clicking the first or the third. <laughs> uh, long story shorter, the, the developer himself of DX Wind responded and was like, that's weird. I have never seen that before. <laughs> and uh, he he did some research, discovered that this game randomly d does some weird calculation based on your monitor size 
of like what the ratio should be. And, it, and even though I was running it in a, in a square window, it was anyway. So it's this thing that he's not seen before, but he's like, here, I, I'll send you, I send you a version. I'll send you a version just for you with a little check marks that fixes this issue. So he sent me that and now we can run the game in its proper resolution. I can't believe the maker of the games personally sent you like a Ryan version of the game. Well, the maker of DX Win, the the you know. Oh, sure, sure, sure. The maker of DX Win. Yeah, but uh, but yeah. So I just like that I had a problem unique enough for that guy to be like, we're gonna fix this. He was also like, I would put this in the official release, but I just don't see it ever coming up again. No other <laughs> game does this, so I'm just sending it straight to you. Um, you like invented a problem that wasn't on the internet. It's true. Um, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm paraphrasing. Feel free to look up this, this guy and, uh, see the actual inter interaction I had, which was, you're so great. I love you. Um, <laughs> How great is it that this guy just trolls those, uh, forums to like fix problems for strangers? I feel like he's doing the Lord's work and it's definitely, amazing. and that's why we are going to be able to play. It's already broken. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Sherlock Holmes, the secret of the silver Hearing. Yes, we do have to bother Frogwares personally. If this game goes south, we're gonna bother Frogwares personally. Um, I am so excited to play this game because already, right now, it looks 10,000 times better than the last game. Yes, I mean, check this out. It has, whoa, whoa. It has real options here in the settings menu. Oh, wanna freak everything out there for a second? You did, which is great. I'm glad this game is going to be just as cursed as the last one. Wow. The second we say it, the second it leaves our lips. <laughs> Hold on. Uh, but I do like this real options menu. What's doing? I like that everything is jewel themed. Um, yes. I'm not, I'm not sure what this cornucopia is, but I, I'm interested in it. Whoops. Uh, huh. Are we cursed? Uh, wow. <laughs> wow, OBS really hates this. Wait, we just tried oh, this. Oh, no. We just tried this before. I swear I had it working. Is it the way I'm capturing it? Let's try it. OK, tell a great story, Ash. Oh, wait, I know why. I know why. I know why. I know why. No, maybe I don't. Well, if we'd like to loop back, we can all agree to be super jealous that Ryan has a convenience store in his building. Uh, so that we can just add that to one of the many things that we don't like about Ryan. Like if there's a grievance what? list, it can it doesn't start there, but it's definitely that's like somewhere in the middle. Why is that so bad? Why do we all hate me for for? We're just jealous that you get to bebop downstairs and get a cool do anytime you want. It's true. I'm I'm spoiled, and I know it. Uh, you also have a haircut place in your apartment, which I enjoy. It's true. I've never patronized them, but... I learned that you're not supposed to get a haircut today. Oh, because it's Lunar New Year. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. Happy Lunar New Year, everyone. Uh... Wait, no, you are supposed to get a haircut today on Lunar oh, New Year. Sorry, Lunar New Year's canceled, everyone. <laughs> or maybe it was Lunar New Year's Eve. I don't know. If someone who celebrates Lunar New Year is listening, I'd love to hear more about it. I don't so much know I what Lunar New Year is. Are you still there? I'm still here. Tell me oh, what. Do I need? Nope. I just want to hear what Lunar New Year is. Lunar New Year oh, is. Lunar New Year is. Chinese New New Year. Okay. Lunar New Year is a generalized version because I think more Asian uh, countries and cultures than just China celebrate a version of Lunar New Year around this time. So I think it's today. Yesterday was Lunar New Year's Eve. You're supposed to wear red. This Got isn't it. really red. This is like orange. Um, you put mandarins around for good luck. Okay uh fresh flowers i think i read a whole thing today uh red lanterns uh no i you're almost we're so close ash keep going i swear i've almost got it fixed <laughs> red lanterns but the day before lunar new year's eve you're supposed to clean up your apartment okay like, do a big deep clean which i did not do but then i learned today you aren't supposed to clean your apartment because then you're getting rid of all the bad luck 
I mean, all the good luck. Yesterday, you get rid of all the bad luck. Today, you get you keep all the good luck. Tomorrow, you do your dishes. <laughs> now, is that just your addition? <laughs> yeah, because I for sure haven't done my dishes in a while. Okay. Anyway, what I was saying is that's why we get to play Sherlock Holmes and the Secret Earring Something. I think I got it working. God, these ridiculous old video games. Okay. I think we are I think we are cursed because they always work when you open them the like three minutes before the stream right. starts to test it. Right. Um, okay, so can people hear the game? So I right now the only thing that's gonna play is this little sound here. You guys hear that? I can. Do you like it? Uh-huh. <laughs> My new mixtape. Let me hear it. Okay, good. Sorry, everybody. We're back on top. Child had to have OBS capture it a completely different way. Well, hopefully it still looks good. Anyway, we have real, real settings. Now this says a high resolution. Don't worry, we're actually capturing it at 1080. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I was so worried. We got this. We got this. And the aliasing is on. We got our subtitles. We got our good shadows. Okay. Are you ready to actually slow see? reading? Is slow reading checked because we might <laughs> we might not be advanced readers for this. Slow reading is unchecked. We could check it. I guess it's just they also have voice, so I don't know if it lets it stay on screen longer or we could if we want to check it, we can always check it because you can actually access the settings in the middle of the game, unlike that last game. Ah, uh, amazing. I mean, you sort of could. I'm ready. We've okay. rallied. Welcome back to Ashley and Ryan's Trails and Simulations. Already. No more mummies. Time for jewels. It's Lunar New Year. Let's go. Oh, I was hoping that would rhyme. Okay, here I we go. I have a new microphone. Okay. <laughs> Dear Mr. Holmes, please <gasps> let me thank you one more time for your help in solving the case of the Turkish medallion. Let me know if I'm sure okay, that if the story could go public, the whole like country would be as grateful as I am to you. As you may have surmised, I, I have a very urgent That's and our confidential homes, I assume. matter which requires your immediate assistance. No, you probably are friend. aware that we are going to celebrate the birthday of a very important person. A Ryan, do you recognize that profile? You I made a whole game out of it. In you did a pin cross. Reasons. The most famous and accomplished artists were selected and invited to perform. We are confident about their reputations. However, we have concerns about one performer in particular. Watson sort of looks Italian like every Diva kid I went to high school with who then like grew a mustache in college. About her. She has also provoked great acclaim in like every European capital where she's <laughs> appeared. Like, I think it's we want to include yeah. her in this <laughs> Last week you said it was a kid nice have play. reservations about her reputation. She <laughs> is, as fortune would have it, in London for another engagement. Sir Bromsby has invited her to perform. I hope we all understand that I've missed that entire letter because I was thinking about mustaches. I kind of was too. Due to reasons of politics and security, I can't attend the reception myself. Apart from yourself, I think we're protecting I do not know anyone else. Madonna. I would be able to complete a mission of such I'm importance. Going to a theater opening, right? Together with this, I think letter, it's an opera. I am sending two invitations, as I assumed your eminent Look how colleague, many text, Dr. Watson, textile patterns we have happening here. A cab will arrive at 221B Baker Street the, at 8 p.m. Who's the third place at dinner? Sharing for hall. Their housekeeper. Even yeah, though Mrs. I know What's that the name? prospect of attending a private concert given by perhaps the best I voice in Europe N. is very attractive for a music lover like yourself, and please allow nothing to distract you from this important mission. Don't listen Your to music, Holmes. Solve the mystery. Cavendry Smith. <laughs> How can we refuse a mission of such importance? Appearances to the contrary, I believe that the future of the nation can depend on our presence. Are you with me? If the future of the nation depends upon our presence, Holmes, then you can count on me. Uh-huh, I want to see them walking the whole way or else I won't know they got How there. You know? Please, come right in. According to the request of Lord Cavendish Smith, during the dinner you'll be seated together. It's not gay or anything. Look, no, I don't... <laughs> what do you know it's about fine. Sir Just so you know. <laughs> He, I have never met the man. I know I said this last time, but I can't understand why he's not wearing a jacket. However, I can tell you yeah, that Sir Bromsby is a man over. of approximately 50 years old, tall in stature. He is impulsive and may be prone to violent outbursts. 
He is of low birth, has few intimate friends, and does not like women. He must be a very aggressive businessman who would not hesitate to go that beyond the taken law off his if hat. it served his purposes. I'd like to add that today he is going to make a very important declaration concerning his business. Totally true. And you, Watson, what have you heard about him? Well, I doubt that I'll be able to give as detailed a description as you have just recited. Holmes, how can you say you do not know the man? I like that this game account. right away is like, you Watson, wanted classic you know deduction, Sherlock Holmes, we're going to give it to you. near the fireplace. It is obvious that they're prepared for a very tall man. I see the hostess and servants anxiously glancing Maybe they're just the prepared for Ryan's door. crazy stretch yeah, version where he broke everything. Enter. Their expressions go beyond nerves. Also, suggest Holmes' fear. deductions don't Only allow for and like, bad preparation from the party line. <laughs> now look at the guests. The men present at this party are mainly composed of military officers and rich entrepreneurs. All of them own their fifties and are clearly business associates. So I decided that he is on the Wow, this is an extensive opening Furthermore, scene. To have risen as rapidly as he has in this society, Sir Bromsby would have to be a very rich really and intelligent in and wanting businessman. To get it? And the for some reason that letter reveal much. Beautiful yep, I'm out. and young girls. I'm really now just focusing how everyone's wearing the same colour dress. dress. Watson, look more carefully. There are no chaperones. No ladies Sorry, would appear in public without suitable escort, I assure you. They stare at the youngest gentleman to find a convenient cavalier and cluck like chickens at the smallest idiocy. In short, a man who would invite only business associates and women of the lower classes to the birthday party of his only child must have few friends, rather poor taste in women, and little regard for his daughter. Another item of note, but not the least, I'm observe that, that group of men speaking very quickly. It's a group of reporters armed with their notebooks gathered oh together. Oh my god, now Sherlock, we Times get it. <laughs> You're very observant. These are not the society You know everyone at the, the party. Times, Maybe you could just mix and mingle like normal people. These are the regular reporters who would come only to gain news about the future of the Bromsby Empire. I will conclude Seriously, by saying that no man, except a lunatic, oh, will you conclude? such an arrangement of tables and furniture. Yeah, that Look is a lunatic you arrangement. I know. Sherlock, you are coming. right. Oh. oh, ladies and gentlemen, he's not as tall let as me I thank thought. you all for yeah. attending maybe, this maybe special he's all reception. Leg. In fact, this moment is a turning point for many people. <laughs> oh my God. Miss Lambert is not to allow anyone to leave and to send a man for the police immediately. And here we are. <laughs> I like the idea of him coming on stage and then Watson going like, he's not that tall. <laughs> like, you didn't get that one else. God, the timing is so good in that. And now, cool. <laughs> it's also just... It's just we, we did like a 10 minute lead up to like, and now let's finally meet the guy we've all been talking about. <laughs> you know what I, oh! Wow, okay, well, uh, the seating arrangement is insane. That's fair. Uh, yeah. Uh, I don't agree that he must have only few friends because he invited only officers and women of a low class to his party. I mean, it depends. <laughs> If 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 none of her friends are at her birthday party, there is something going on there. You're right. That that's is the only thing. thing I'll say. Unless, but if her that friends is... are all just low class girls, that's who all my friends are. Same. I don't care. Well, my um, friends are all are all eight, like turn of the century officers. Oh really? Yeah. Can you just go to their party and like? <laughs> yeah. Forget it. No one ever has a chaperone. Um, okay, so here's a great thing about, well, first of all, I actually read some of the manual and cause I was like, I don't want to be missing any controls. And yeah. it seems like this will have an early version of the deduction stuff. Um, mostly rather than being able to sort of do it any time, like it happens later, at the end of every um, like chapter of the story, Holmes will give us a quiz. Oh. And so we have to answer correctly and make the right deductions. Like we'll be able to like do answer however we want and support it with different evidence. Like so it could look like uh -huh. it's true. But then I think Holmes will be like, think again, idiot. If we're wrong. <gasps> so keep your eye out. Also, um, uh, uh, we have this, which is this little sort of uh, inventory here, and this journal, 
where we can <gasps> look through all of our clues in one place, which I'm very excited about. Oh, we get a map. We get a map. Also, I accidentally did this earlier. So here we are inside here. Can I just, I think I might be able to, let's see, can I take this? That's for if we're also planning an event and we want to rent the space. Right. And we we're just, like, does it have see to how many tables and chairs be fit? this H shape? <laughs> yeah. That's the only way the tables go together, sir. Um, however, uh -huh. notice that we're homes here, this homes icon. If we go out here, it changes to Watson. You can play as Watson in this game. <gasps> That's very tempting. I'm just excited. I think there'll, you, there'll be times when you have to play as Holmes and you have to play as Watson. Yeah. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel, I wouldn't say that's low-class women, unless you want to embrace it, in which case, go for it. Um, so yes, there will be a test. Everybody keep your eyes open. Now, first question. What was any of that? Did you catch anything <laughs> that just happened? Uh, okay. Uh, Sherlock and Watson. Yep. Have you heard of them? Best of friends. <laughs> Best of friends. Uh, Watson's reading Sherlock's mail. Maybe that's a clue. Maybe that's he says, he says that somebody, uh oh, I'm I'm start I'm not starting strong. Somebody yes. sent sent him a letter saying that at this big opera opening, the prima donna woman is in danger. Oh no, I I, I don't know. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> is there gonna be a quiz? Um Anne says I'm a little low. Anne, is that better? Is it worse? Do I sound bad? I turn my mod well, let's see, put the, the music back. Do I sound okay compared to everything now? Thank you for telling me, by the way. This is a test of Ryan's voice. Does Ryan sound cool or is it your choice to not listen to Ryan because he is dumb? Call me next week and I'll be there. Okay, great. Uh, okay, sorry, I... Uh... Did you catch any of that in the letter? Okay, I think we can read the letter. This is going to be a little hard to read because it's Victorian. Okay. Dear Mr. Holmes, please allow me to thank you one more time for your help in solving the case of the Turkish medallion. medallion. Different case. I'm sure that if the Prequel. story could be known, the entire country would be as grateful to you as I. That's how crazy it was. And with the game... This is a classic Perot opening where somebody in a country house is always like, Oh, I know Perot. He helped my father with that terrible incident. Hey. He's messed discreet. <laughs> Yes, exactly. Right. He will he'll, he'll keep it to himself, but he'll never mm -hmm. drop it. Don't call him unless you really want it solved. Uh, and I want to compliment you again on reading old-timey script, Ryan. You're very good at it. This is probably the one skill I have learned from years of adventure gaming, is reading badly <laughs> interlaced, artifacted fonts. Uh, and playing old video games. Okay. Uh, with the game spirit of confidence, I must turn to you again. I have very... Let's, I'd like to know who whose things are from as I'm reading them. Your sincere yeah, yeah, Lord yeah. Cavendish Smith. I love that name. Okay. This is from Lord Cavendish Smith. Okay. I have a very LCS. urgent <laughs> limited liability corporation. I have a very <laughs> urgent case that demands the utmost discretion. You are assuredly aware that we are making arrangements to celebrate the birthday of a very important person whose name may not be mentioned for obvious reasons. So I guess it was a secret. I don't know. All of the artists okay. invited to perform in his honor. Is it Bromsby's oh. birthday or the daughter? I thought it was the daughter's birthday. I thought it was too. All right, well, all of the artists invited to perform in his honor have been selected with great care to ensure that they are of good character. It has recently come to our attention that a young Italian diva named uh, Galia, I think, has, pro mm -hmm. has provocated great acclaim in every yeah, European capital where she has appeared okay so we had a famous diva we want to include her in this gala event however we have reservations about her reputation okay. now surprise this is actually one of parties and we aren't we didn't tell anyone whose it was but we know this is a room of good people <laughs> now ryan was in charge of drinks and he brought mountain dew not watermelon <laughs> oh uh uh <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, she is fortune. Nope. She, as fortune would have it, is. She is, comma, as fortune would have it. Weird place to split. In London for another arrangement. Sir Bromsby, a wealthy English industry magnate, has invited her to perform during a reception 
to commemorate the return of his daughter to England. Is this separate from the birthday? Um, I already don't know. Due to political so... and security concerns, I can't personally attend. Go on, sorry. No, 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 keep going. Uh, due to political and security concerns, I, Lord Cavendish, I can't make it. Apart from yourself, none of us know... No, wait. Apart from yourself... Apart from yourself, oh, I know of no one who would be able to fulfill such a delicate and vital mission. The question before you is, this artist deserving of an invitation to perform for our... Honoree? Honoree. I have taken the liberty to enclose two invitations, as I assumed your uh, eminent colleague, Dr. Wat Dr. Watson, uh, Doc, Doc Brown, would be accompanying you. The invitations yeah. name you as my uh, personal uh, representatives tomorrow at eight o'clock, uh, cabman, blah, blah, blah. Though I know that the prospect of attending a private concert given by perhaps the most beautiful voice in the whole of Europe is a trial for a music lover like yourself. <laughs> I'm kidding, of course. Your, na your nation's future depends on your sacrifice, Lord Cavendish Smith. Okay. So the party we're at now is just vetting this singer for a later party. Wait, no, is that right? Uh, that's the part I'm a little for confused For a later about. party about an honoree that he can't disclose. Right. So the party we're at right now is the is Bromley's party for his daughter, Welcome Back to England. Welcome yes. Back, Cotter, to England. Welcome Back, and... Cotter, to England. <laughs> the honoree, of course, and... being Frederick Boom Boom Washington. <laughs> yeah. And he has invited to sing this like diva operetta lady who they were trying to get as the act for this secret honorees party later. But we don't know whether she's good folks or bad folks. Yeah. So Sherlock is at this party vetting the opera singer. And I cannot believe that in the first 10 minutes of this game, we already had to do like a full recap to figure out what was happening. It's not It's not totally the game's fault, but I feel like Watson wasn't giving that letter the oomph it deserved. No, he read it to us and then they showed us a 10 minute scene where he described everything about the character of this guy at the party and I was still lost. Uh, Ash, you've been cursed by the mummy again. Okay. Um, here, shake your head like this. That did actually help a little. Better? Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, okay, so... Are you, telling, are you telling me I just need to be... I need to move more during the stream? I'm just trying to like be like, hydrate yourself. Uh, yeah, this is great. This is not going to annoy anybody or make anybody sick. <laughs> Whoa! Vody, Uh Our stream is now presented in Confuso Vision. <laughs> Okay, program of Miss Bromsby 18th birthday. So that is, is not only her return, it's her 18th birthday. Okay. Is this what, is this the same birthday? I'm confused by that. But okay. So, oh, wait, maybe yeah, this, this is it. Has this happened? Yeah. Yet? So but this is not the same birthday we're test driving Miss Diva for. It's two different birthdays. No, true? the where we are, we're in a room and it's the birthday. We're test driving the diva. For a later birthday. For a later party of some kind that, where there's an honoree that they can't tell us about. Okay, hold on. I have an urgent case that demands one. You are aware that we are making arrangements to celebrate the birthday of a very oh. important person whose name may not be mentioned for obvious reasons. Okay, what if? No, Ryan, all, I already want to crack All it. the artists who have been invited to perform in his honor. This is the birthday of a, of a male. Yeah. Okay. The okay. honoree is a male. Yes. No, go ahead. What crack, if crack it open. They, crack it wide open. What if, what if they're planning a surprise party for Sherlock Holmes? I love it. But they want to see whether what he Watson? likes what kind of music he likes. Oh, that's even better. What if it's for Watson? They want to see. And Sherlock. They want to see. Yeah. Sherlock how let how Watson the singer likes it. Open the letter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and it really is a beta test birthday. Oh, poor Miss Bromsby. Okay. Okay. LCS has a daughter. 
Celebratory program in honor of the return of Miss Lavina Bromsby away for six years at a Swiss boarding school. You don't have to give me the whole, I don't care what she was. And her 18th birthday. Uh, oh, addressed by Sir Bromsby. That's what we just, he was just shot during his address, I assume. Yeah. A French dinner. Oh. Recital overture by the Philharmonic Orchestra of Uxbridge. Interpretation of Faust okay. opera extracts by famous diva Galia. <laughs> that's the person we're vetting. Okay. Garden party with English treatment. Hey, uh, oh. you mind giving me the old English treatment on this garbage, par garbage party? <laughs> or this garbage party? Now, okay. here's a fun fact no one will, ca no one will care about, but when uh, an actor doesn't like the tailoring of their costume, a costume, and the costume designer doesn't want to change it, then the costume designer will say, oh, great, I'll just do a quick French alteration, which sounds very fancy, but it means that they take off the costume, do nothing, and put it, bring it back to the actor, and they're like, this does look better. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. Okay. All right. And that's so a, I think that's that an English garden party is the same. So is a French treatment then where you say you don't like your food and they just take it back and bring you the same food? <laughs> I bet so. Uh, okay. Arnie wow. asks, is this Evites the game? Yes. We are trying to... So far, yes. Manage the social situation. Okay. There's something on the floor here and I'm going to pick it up. Pick it up. Oh, I'm so glad we have to, yeah, really get in there. Not, oh, okay. Bromsby note, read. Why do I have a test tube with me? Why did I bring a test tube to a party? It's a birthday, when Holmes. You, when do you not have a test tube? Yeah, that's true. The first Maybe that was is part small of him and testing elegant. the diva. The second is hurried and forced. Could you please pee in this? I want to see if you're good enough for this <laughs> it's a party. test. Oh, okay, so this was a copy of the speech we found. Uh, acknowledgements. If a notable person is present, do not forget to acknowledge them. That's good advice. You welcome your daughter. You then invite her to enter the ballroom. <laughs> when she's on the stage, you make your speech for the journalists. Don't forget the villager and the serpent. Okay, that's probably a clue. Okay. Shooting at pigeons isn't mentioned in program. Miss Lambert added that at the last moment. Don't forget to mention this. You know, okay. I wish I had known we were going to shoot at pigeons. I would have brought my test tube. Um, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's start talking to people. I'm so excited. This Excuse is like me if the, I may. this is I am Sherlock Holmes. What do you wish to know? Sorry, I got distracted that we were talking to like Ichabod Crane as a ventriloquist dummy. <laughs> you should have seen how terrifying he was when he was 30 feet tall. It was insane. Cuz he starts out, he starts kneeling and I'm like, this is normal. And then he's like, what do you want? <laughs> Oh man, okay, I'm back, I'm in, I'm focused. <laughs> okay. I must ask, who are you? I'm the doctor from the village <laughs> near the hall. Great first question. Wait, real quick question, uh, who the fuck are you? <laughs> Is he still breathing? What if he- He died instantly. What? Did I lose you? Okay. <laughs> no, that was, that was, <laughs> that was just me doing an impression of him. Uh, <laughs> Where is the bullet? It's still in the body. I must obtain police authorization to extract it. You should probably get police authorization before you extract it. Yeah. Thanks, Doctor. Never mind. Okay, now check this out. Another thing I noticed when I was trying to test the game. Guess what else we got? All of the what? stuff that's been said to us. This is going to be so good. Yeah. This, uh, this yeah, makes me the think. The guy's eyes is terrifying. <laughs> You're right, Sir? <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. Never mind. Holmes' voice sounds so much better, and Watson's actually really great, too. Yeah. Okay, well, I think, um, talk to this gentleman. This guy over there, yeah, he looks suspicious. Good day. My name is Sherlock Holmes. Would you mind if I asked several questions? If it helps you. Would you mind if I ask you several questions? What are we talking about from a time commitment standpoint? <laughs> Did you notice anything peculiar at the time of the shooting? I jumped up, and then I looked in the direction Kissed of the myself. shot. There, I saw that little flirt. <laughs> I mean, Miss Bromsby. She seemed to be placing something in her handbag amid a cloud of smoke. Then she rushed to the stage. I must say, her sudden inheritance should be a fine present for her birthday. This guy's caddy. Okay. 
What precisely was your relationship with the victim? We were partners with the old scoundrel. No, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Sir Bromsby. He personally oh, invited me. He gave me every assurance there would be plenty of fresh meat, if you take my meaning. I don't! Well, there was, but some of it was quite cold. <laughs> What is your meaning, right, well, we, sir? <laughs> we at least know that there's more than one voice actor working on this production, and that's a relief. Such a relief. Uh, all right. Were you an associate of the victim? Yes. He seems so yeah. much bigger when he's lying down rather than standing. Guy, you've got some issues to deal with. Well, thank you very much. Thanks very it much. Is nothing, dear fellow. <laughs> So yeah. this guy's like, I'm his old buddy. He told me there'd be some fresh meat here. <laughs> oh, I didn't like any of that. I don't take his meaning at all, unless he's uh, talking about the ladies, which uh, is not yeah, particularly... I think so. Uh... I think that was intimated when he said there was no chaperones, too. Like, it's all officers and uh, available young ladies with no chaperones. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a speed dating birthday it's party. It's my kind of party. <laughs> 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 also, she went to boarding school in Switzerland. Of course, none of her friends are here at the party. I mean, they could be back in town, but you're right. I mean, you don't blame her. Um, yeah. Okay. The fresh meat guy. That doctor. That doctor's really keeping busy over there. So. Now I'm over here. Oh, that's a nice, glorious close-up of Holmes. Yeah. Where'd, Where'd everyone go? Are they in the garden? Uh, maybe so. I mean, the police would have cleared the area. Are they here yet? Talk to this guy. Uh, no, because we have to wait for the police to take the bullet out. That's right. I'll be right there. <laughs> if he tends bar, I'm going to love it. Oh. <laughs> oh, we skipped him. Excuse me. Could you answer some questions? You're quite welcome. You're quite welcome. Consider yourself well met. <laughs> Where were you at the moment this tragedy occurred? Like all the servants, I was in the ballroom. Was the special orders of the old crab. In my opinion, it was done in particular to have more people there to applaud him. Canny old bird, wasn't he? I can't blame him for that. What sort of man was Sir Bromsby? I mean, as an employer. Troublesome and bad tempered, but he paid well. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, that's a dark. God, I, oh, I never want to see another ceiling in my life. I never want to play another <laughs> game where I have to go to the edge of the screen to do anything. Are you personally at the service of the Bromsby family? Yes. There are five of us who serve in the Sheringford Hall. There are Mary oh. and Sue, the maids, Carl, our chef, okay. Lamb, Sir Bromsby's okay. coachman, and myself. All the rest were bought in just for the reception. And where no, are the rest he just of the said staff? lamb as if it was Mary a normal name. Downstairs. Oh, there's a sheep she that went to we paid to drive us around. Goose, <laughs> who had been crying bitterly. As a goat yeah, cleans up after the sheep. It seemed to me she started crying before Sir Bromsby was shot. And the coachman? Lamb is at the main gate. Miss Lambert gave him specific instructions to throw out any reporters and ensure they do not re-enter the hall. However, it would not be good if he finds you've been asking questions here. Tell me... Will my name appear in the newspaper? Goodbye. Thank you for your help. Goodbye. <laughs> my pleasure, sir. Uh, to answer that, I will say a goodbye. Okay, so um, Fresh Meat Man was like, oh, the young girl who's it's our it's her birthday party. I think she took. I think she basically implying that she shot him and was quickly putting her gun back in her purse so that she could get the inheritance. Oh, right. She seemed to be placing something in her handbag and then a cloud of smoke. Okay, yep. Which we did see a little in that shot. Yeah. And then this guy is like, um, man, she went to comfort some little goose who'd been crying bitterly. He didn't actually say it was what's-her-face, though. Seemed to be she started crying before Sir Brahms was shot. No, Sue is, Sue is one of the maids. Mary and Sue are maids. But Sue went down to comfort some little goose who has been crying better. Uh, we don't know who the goose was. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Uh, okay. Oh. Let's talk to Colonel Mustache. Don't walk up too quick. What? The sword, the sword. Don't walk <laughs> up too quickly. 
That shot was dreadful, wasn't it? It's neither the first nor probably the last I shall hear in my life. Tell me, young man, are you a barman or not? Because I'm dying from thirst. This guy was recorded in his own separate closet from everybody else. Yeah. Did you that have a just personal dog relationship biscuits. with Sir Bromsby? <laughs> What impertinence! Ooh, well, no. I will answer questions of this nature only if the issue from my superiors or the authorities. And you, sir, are neither of those. More people should say that to Sherlock Holmes, if I'm being honest. Yeah, it's fair. Well, I must leave you now. All right, young man. Oh! Would you like this magnifying glass? <laughs> Magnify glass, tape measure, and it's... Hey, can you fill this up? Well, find me the barman oh. if you want anything from me. It's a puzzle. Okay. Well, I must leave you now. All right, young man. All right, so we got to get this guy a drink before he'll talk to us. Uh, yeah, okay. we get to get the barman. I mean, I'd love to mix drinks. Okay, so if I... Well, let's see. Is there anything I can do around this guy? The manual said I could double-click to run, but I haven't found that to be the case yet, so this might be a lot of nice, slow walking. Well, this isn't a running type scenario, Ryan. That would be rude to run in a ballroom. It would be rude. Somebody just died, and I'm like, hey, what's going on? <laughs> uh, okay. Is this the only room, or can we leave? No, we can go. There's a lot of other rooms. It is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. So we join Watson later. Okay, that's a good clue. That's a good clue. Uh, there's stuff behind the... Um, there are rooms behind that... Uh, behind the stage that we haven't gotten yet. I just wanted to see what was down here. Okay. Um, I think, judging by that, uh, oh, I'm hiding. I'm hiding behind a pillar. Uh, <laughs> judging by, by the, um, uh, the handle is twisted down. Oh, we have a little, like, da -dum, whenever we find something. It smells of gunpowder. Oh, it oh. smells of gunpowder. Was this the room Elizabeth came so in? So someone is, yeah, I think so. Handsome Can you put armor. on that hat? <laughs> Damn it, it starts again. <laughs> Handsome armor. Handsome armor. Mm -hmm. myself right back at you. What? Oh. He bowed to it. Oh. oh, what's happening? Did you do that on purpose? No, I was just clicking the statue. I want to see... Did I do that by just clicking here? Yeah, check to see if there's any mirrors. Maybe you can get ego points. <laughs> That's true. Okay, I guess is I just, there something there we can't see? I think oh, I, I hope just not. well, oh, right here. This is a little. There's like gloves or something right here. Do you see that? Oh, okay. I can't quite, but okay. Maybe my screen is too. Your screen's not great enough. I just want to learn the rules of this game. Like, I think I just clicked in this lower portion. Okay. Anyway. Yeah, that makes sense. This black cloth is large enough to conceal a person. Black cloth. Large oh, enough. so someone was hiding behind it. Yeah. Black sheet. Black sheet. No. Black hat. I don't worry, because my watch is fat. Right? <laughs> so he put that... That was just pretty good. If anybody okay. out there knows ZZ Top, that was pretty good. Sorry, what? Oh, there is a mirror. Um, I was just saying that we're piecing together that we assume someone had covered themselves in a black cloth, opened the door and shot. Although it feels like the black cloth was not super necessary. It's possible. It is not the time to join, Watson. It's possible I have not that they examined everything. If he covered themselves to hide earlier or something, I don't know exactly how that would work. It just feels like someone walking around a ballroom covered with a black cloth is more su su suspicious. You think? <laughs> I'm here to enjoy the party. <laughs> oh. Ooh, this may Nothing be where the barman. Where here. the barman might be. Oh yeah. Is that a wine supper? Oh no, it's like a. Oh. This is diabolically well? heavy. It does look like a well. Okay. Uh. Nothing of any. I like that he proved here. he could open it, though. You know. It's very heavy, but I can do it with one hand, <laughs> Watson. I need can you step something. Up? I need something. You need something. Put the sheet on it. I need something. Um, okay, th this is also kind of important. We also have this magnifying glass, and I don't know if it's true, but it seemed intimated in the manual that like we would need it to like examine things. I'm not sure exactly what uh -huh. warrants examination versus just looking, though. You know? 
Oh, I see. Uh-huh. See, look, I just clicked oh. with the magnifying glass. Now I'm looking at more stuff. I a see. Copy of a uniform button. The cannon insignias are hand-drawn. I kind of want to always look as much as I can look, though, you know? Yeah. So that's a little weird. Okay, we found a button. Bro, you get down on the ground, Sherlock. <laughs> We're going to make him get down on the ground. It's any opportunity to pay for that last game. Ugh. Okay, I found a, like, it's like a uniform button, although everybody at this party was wearing a uniform. Yeah, but he says it's fake. An easy way to look under the table. Did he say that? Mm -hmm. I was so excited about the magnifying glass. Can I hear what Sherlock has said? I don't think so. Oh, wait. Ah, oh yeah, so these are clues. In the kitchen near the dustbin, someone has lost an interesting button from an artillery uniform. However, the cannons are drawn instead of carved. It comes from a fake costume. Okay, so it looks like all the important okay. stuff. Smell of gunpowder. Black cloth. Okay. Well, I'm just going to memorize all of it, so don't worry about it. Okay. Do you think we're going to have to put any mummy deaths in this? Uh, into a big <laughs> machine? Sure, look, don't do the dishes or you're cleaning your away your bad luck on Lunar New Year. Sherlock, come on. So he says, is he? Oh, there Nothing is someone over there. Interest here. Yeah, somebody over on this side. Okay, what do we think the difference is between this hand uh -huh. and this hand? Oh. Nothing one of them of is like, here. I need to pick that up. And one of them is like, come over here. Nothing of any interest here. Nothing of any interest here. Okay, well, he doesn't care. Hmm. So he did say that you needed something for that stool, which is odd. I think that was asking me to get the magnifying glass out because that's when I found the button and I can't click the stool anymore. Oh, okay. Which is good if he's gonna at least tell me, you know. Can I, oh, there we go. I feel like they late oh. in the process decided to have this like scroll bar thing because sometimes it's in the yeah. way, so you can right click it to remove it, which is nice to have a cinematic view, but it feels like it's sort of, they didn't quite consider it. Like, uh, I guess yeah. you can just hide it if it breaks. This kitchen doesn't feel like it's prepared to serve all the guests that were at dinner. Well, it's a special occasion. They don't usually have that many people. Oh, here, this guy is- May I help very you? Very excited to help us. <laughs> You're a dustbin. That's who you are to me. <laughs> Hello? Are you aware of what has just happened? Yes, it seems that our master has got himself killed. Scott told me that much on his daughter's birthday. This is Ryan's all these cameo. nice dishes. It took me so long to prepare them. What a disaster. <laughs> Who ever heard of a Charlie in the box? <laughs> How would you describe oh. Sir Brom's oh. Well, as an employer, Attractive he was not else. easily satisfied, always insisting on some Indian or French dish. That old foulet put it into Sir Bromsby's head that this Frenchman prepare better meals than the English. He would have had my master eating frogs stuffed with snails if he could. Yeah, yeah and this is clearly a Terry Jones character in Escape from Monty Python. <laughs> Duffy. A Frenchman. So who is Follett? Yes, a squint-eyed Frenchman. That must be done like this, right. and this must be placed like that. Well, he may well be a connoisseur of fine cuisine <laughs> yeah. and service, but of everything else, Miss Lambert dared not even contradict him about the tablecloth's colour, though Bromsby hated white and insisted on blue to match the colour of the daughter's eyes. And look how he placed the tables in the ballroom. I have never Weird. seen tables right. arranged in such a manner. So this guy's upset that this Fowlet character, who's French, was having too much influence on Bromsby. Yeah, making him make crazy dishes and, and picking white tablecloths and putting the tables on an H. The lid of your dustbin is quite heavy. It makes some noise, well, that's doesn't the it? Dustbin? At yes. least we know when somebody closes it. I was in the cellar and I heard the lid closing a little before okay. that what you said was the shot. I heard it again right after. But that surely must have been Mary, our maid. Somebody snuck in through the dustbin. Yep. You say it was Mary, the housemaid. Is this a good angle How can on you me? be sure? <laughs> the first time I saw her with my own eyes uh, when she came to empty the rubbish. 
She cautioned me not to fall asleep in the storeroom. She always has something amusing to say. Uh, the second time, I not didn't very. see her. I only heard the lid close. Hmm. I will let you get back to your work. I'll let you All get right. back to that. Good night, So, sir. Mary was in the kitchen. Sue, the other maid, was comforting someone. Right, that goose who was crying? Yeah, Lamb was at the security gate kicking out reporters. It seems like that means whoever was being was crying was crying about something else, because this guy was said it would happen. This is diabolically up. heavy. Okay. Okay. You think we're done here for now? Like, yeah. use my magnifying glass, right? I don't know exactly what to use my magnifying glass on, but hopefully it'll become obvious, like this, where it's like, I need something. Actually, let's try on this cabinet. Nothing of any interest here. Okay. Mm, I see. Okay, we haven't gone Not through Not quite here. the handle, but good job. There's a greasy substance on the door handle. Seems to be a sauce. Okay. <laughs> I like how he didn't actually care. That's like, whatever. <laughs> My hand is now covered in sauce. Can I do anything? I like that? we just ended up into like the identical room. <laughs> yeah. Can't look at the sauce. Uh, is that a ticking? Yeah, it sounds like a clock. Uh oh, is it a time? Is it a time room? Is it going to explode? Oh God! The mummy homes! I freaked it to explode <laughs> again! I thought you were dead. Can, <laughs> Can you see who was smoking? Can you pick something. up that cigar? Oh, uh, you know what? I think every time he says I need something, that's my clue to get the magnifying glass out. Yeah, I think you're right. Or some object in your pocket. Yeah. Curious, this flaky ash does not come from this cigar. Get your flaky ash out of here. That's what I say. <laughs> okay, so this. It doesn't come from, doesn't cigar. Come from the it cigar. It probably comes from that pipe, because the pipe's upturned. I would agree with you. Yeah, the voices are pretty good. Oh god, if there's if there's a timer in this game. We'll see if this game earns a timer. <laughs> In the last game, we just set everything on fire. Can you light those candles? I don't have a lighter. Got some flaky ash, if that helps. No, it does help. Oh, good. Uh, okay. Whoop. So someone was in the room, but not smoking that cigar. Right. Honestly, this is a ash. great house so far. I would definitely live in this house. Now, when you came into this house after buying it, would you yeah. rip everything out and sort of redecorate and do a more modern look on it? Or would you want to keep it like these this green wallpaper and all these like weird wooden floors? I, I would definitely keep the floors. I would keep all of the wood. I don't... It would be case by case for like the textiles and wallpaper. Like, yeah. I don't hate that green wallpaper in, like, one room. If it's supposed to be, like, a cozy library. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. But, like, those three hallways that were just identical, like, red carpet and red wallpaper. Yeah. I think I would switch. Makes sense. And would you still make your servant live in the in the um, cellar and do a weird accent? Yes. Okay. Yes, he would need to be dressed as the Maurice in the opening number of Belle in Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> and he would need to talk like sort of like a, a Frank Morgan character or something. Yeah. Mm, that seems my watch has stopped. <laughs> um, Arnie brings up Ober Den, which is a really cool game I own but have not finished. I think um, that would actually be a good game for us to play. It's like a mystery set on a, an old ship and you're like an insurance oh. adjuster, and you have to basically find out how everybody in the ship died for insurance purposes. Oh, I'm liking that. Yeah, it's cool. I've only played a little of it. Um, okay, see, like, I I enjoy these floor tiles, but I would keep nothing else, probably. I don't even know if... I mean, this sink is not my style, I'll tell you that. This is a real grand lesson. Mm -hmm. Look, what's this? Look, me. Look, what's, what's this? this? What's this? It's scissors on a sink. What's this? It's a pair of mustache scissors. Really makes you think. Guys, I think Perot did it. Oh no! 
<laughs> we have a Frenchman. A we have mustache. We have Ash. It's a pair of mustache scissors. A lot of clues that I can't actually pick up, which is interesting. Okay, right, we found some mustache scissors in the in the okay. study in the study's bathroom. Did uh, what's his name? Bromley have a mustache? Lord Bromley? Did Bromsby? No. Bromsby, yeah. It is thinky, that's true, Arnie. I don't know. Although, this, Arnie, this is a stream where we spend 30 minutes just solving a puzzle on a piece of paper. So. <laughs> um, you know what I wish I did have, although I'm being greedy, is like a... Here's everybody involved in the mystery. Like, I want to see Bromsby. I know. Get a headshot of him. This is the point. If I was reading this as a book, this is the point where I would flip to the back and write all the character names down because I'm terrible at remembering names and like give them all a defining mustache. characteristic. Yeah. Yeah. Like a, a clue. I hear a clock. Oh, I see. Here we go. It's a full hallway. Like this looks like a terrible carnival something. room. So I maybe would redo this room. Yeah, this is. It's a weird choice. Although at this point, if you have so many halls in your in your house, like one's the weird fun hall, you know, it's like, why not? Yeah, that's definitely true. But I I would need a purpose for everything. Small box with white powder. Cocaine, opium. Could be drugs, could be makeup. Uh-huh. Or like uh, hair powder. Hair powder. Okay. Oh. Is it? Is it? It's not weird. Anyone else that we like can't see a clock? Oh, that's a clock. I see. It's just an odd uh, yeah, shaped clock. Yeah, it took me a while too. It's like a freestanding, old timey telephone like, clock or something. <laughs> yeah, it looks like if Lumiere had a cousin who was a clock. Yeah. Now, Ash, listen. I got a lot of bags to unpack here. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be very emotional time for me, and I want you to be okay with that. We gotta unpack some real bags. I understand. Are you ready? I understand. Okay. Mm -hmm. A small caliber pistol. There's a gun in a my bag. Model. Okay. Train and ship tickets from Geneva to London. Tickets of okay. train and boat from Geneva to London. Okay. Passport of so this La is Lavinia Bromsby. I don't think we know her. The yet. daughter. And the daughter. Yeah, we Elizabeth, do. That's the daughter. Right? Isn't the daughter? Uh, no. No, the daughter's not Elizabeth. That was last game. <laughs> oh, you're right. It is Lavinia. <laughs> I was thinking of the last and, game. <laughs> and it makes sense because she came from Switzerland to London for school. So Geneva to Switzerland. I mean, sorry, Geneva to London makes sense. You're right. So we just stole her purse. But it had a gun in it, Ryan. Oh, uh, who doesn't have a gun? Stop clicking, clock. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she was worried about uh, being on the bus alone. That's true. Uh, oh, I can't look at it that closer. I guess. Okay. Um, maybe one of her, maybe one of her gentlemen uh, friends from the militia gave her a gun. That's true. Oh wait. I need something. Oh. This room was rarely used. Everything else is in order. Okay. Okay. Um, oh. I need right. something. I really feel like the designer. I need something. Had to build a full game and then showed up to the meeting and was told that. Sherlock was only going to walk into that room and walk well, out. Well, I actually walked back out because I wanted to, but it did look like he was just like, screw this. Oh, I thought the game was yeah. like, no, you don't need to be in here. No, don't worry about it. Oh. Okay. Hmm, there's dust. Excellent. I put the, oh, I didn't put it in the test tube, did I? White powder. Okay. Okay, I just wanted to see what that was. Okay. Free gun. Yeah, can you can can you combine things? Maybe not. I think you can. You know, combine some ash and some dust. Yeah. Uh, all right. This room is really used. What's the thing next to the passport in your pocket? This. Tickets of train the other and side, boats. Sorry. Oh, small box with white powder. Oh, that has the white powder. Then what was the... Oh, that's ash this is at the end? This is also white powder, but he said it was dust when he picked it up. <laughs> okay, got a lot of white powders. powders. Then also it. flaky ash. Don't forget about flaky ash. A it's also okay. your nickname. Study French. <laughs> yeah, in the winter especially. A textbook to study <laughs> <What is> French. 
visit card. Okay. A calling card written in French. French calling card. Oh, a calling card. That could be fou flowet, flowet. A textbook to study French. Yeah. I don't know what will. Oh, here we go. But he's already. Luis Philip de la Mustache. I don't know what that says. <laughs> Musardier? Uh huh. Im Imperial hard case wine casket. <laughs> <laughs> Everything, everything's night of Frankenstein mm -hmm. of the mustard assembly poison. Yep, that's all it says to me. So I think we're pretty good. I'm good at reading it too, Ryan. <laughs> uh, he's a head waiter, apparently. A textbook to study French. Okay, so maybe she was in love with with a French waiter. That'd be fun. <gasps> I hope so. So we can hear Mon Dieu a couple of times. <laughs> Missed opportunity with these mirrors. Very interesting. Yeah. It's a pleasant picture. And this lady is wearing a very nice earring. Why, it's a secret of a oh. silver earring. Photo pretty young girl. <laughs> Photo pretty right, young girl. He's, he's kept that for his personal Photo collection. pretty young girl. <laughs> Apply it to the uh, old creepy guy at the bar and see if he talks. Oh. To the future great actress... With all my encouragement, Veronica Davenport. Okay. Was she the woman that was singing? That nope. was supposed to be singing tonight? The woman is some third person. Oh, it's like Gasket or whatever her name is. Yeah, it's old Gasket face. It's like Gillette Gasket. Um, what was that? You can see on the table a ring where the powder was. Oh. Oh, you're right. Can you somehow... I need something. I need something. I need oh, something. You... Yeah, you need one. Yeah, yeah. White powder. I need something. You're gonna see if it's the same. Oh, I see. Oh, I other powder. I need something. <laughs> I'll try all our powders. I need oh. something. <laughs> what about test tube? Test tube! Is test tube just gonna be a default, like, collect a sample option? Look, what's this? Yeah, it looks like, because the test tube didn't actually fill up with anything, but I have more white powder. Oh, I see. I got. A, I found a lot of Is white it... powder all over your place. <laughs> get, get someone in here to clean this. I put it in one test tube, so we'll all have it in one place. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> I know you're real scientific, Dr. Watson. If that is your real name. Okay. I like just watching him, like, sadly wander around the room. Oh, well, like, I guess I, uh, I guess I looked over here and that was nice. Maybe what maybe Watson's thinking about me. And <laughs> I guess I'll just wait. <laughs> I, I have like feet here, but it doesn't seem to. Oh, there it goes. That's just that view. Okay. Okay. Uh, that's uh, it's probably good for now. All right, time to look for more white powders. Where's the rest of my powder collection? Actually, I should go this way. Oh, wait, where are we now? <laughs> oh, that's this side. Okay. Let's go back. We've been here. There's a greasy substance on the door handle. Seems to be a sauce. This handle, too? Wait, yeah, or is that the same handle? No, it's a different handle. Uh, so someone went from the kitchen and ran through or something? Yeah. All right, is this going to be Mary or Sue? Excuse me, but would you be Mary? What do you want, Mr. I'm Sue! <laughs> uh, your well is garbage. <laughs> Did you hear the shot? Of course, I heard everything. But I didn't stop my work. Imagine that someone else had been killed and not my master. Or he would have given me a good talking to. <laughs> well. So just in case someone was killed that wasn't her master, she's going to keep working. So she's... Is this some kind of white substance she's trying to get off the carpet? The game's full of white substances. Brian, tell the share of the class what you're eating. Oh. What's happened here on this carpet? An idiot Yellow from Hartford's turned stick. over the foul. So Pop Daddy. Pass by without even Pop taking Daddy. Proud sponsors of trials and simulations. It his mind was elsewhere these days. <laughs> I think it's it catching on. Because of Miss Lavinia's homecoming. Wait, sorry, what? What's happened here on this carpet? An idiot from Hartford's turned over the foul. So Bromsby passed by without even taking notice. Hmm. It did seem his mind was elsewhere these days. Of course, it was probably because of Miss Lavinia's homecoming. Okay, some idiot turned over the foul. 
Yeah, I don't know what that means. I guess employer. they spilled he something. Could be the very devil at times, but not the worst. If you had just known my father. And then the master was so generous with our wages. It's nice to hear. All right, he's paying people a lot of money to work for him. Did you go to the well during the reception? Really yes, going back to the well without accent, I'll bucket. tell you that. <laughs> but that was before the dreadful shooting happened. Only once? I told you, only the one time. I even called out to that loud Carl not to fall asleep. Oh, he spent okay, his time that has been corroborated. The and I often find him asleep there. Oh, but please, sir, you won't mention any of that to Miss Lambert, will you? Which part? The the um, uh, Maurice in the getting the baguettes hurry up also told us that she visited once and he said, don't fall asleep. And, she, and he was like, ha ha ha. Right. But then he said he but, heard but he, it twice. Yeah. And, and she says French I didn't go French back again, so that's the mystery one. Him? He's a sly one. He's also cross-eyed. Oh, but most handsome and very talkative. Ask Miss Lambert. She's quite keen on him. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Did you observe anyone pass this way after the shot was fired? Uh, no one's come this way. Perhaps? Not from the moment I returned after emptying my bucket and the old while I've been cleaning. I only saw Scott, who was in the ballroom. He half opened the door to tell me the news. Who's Scott? Thank you, Mary. Was he the Not guy mopping? Me, Is he one of the servants? Yep. He might be the guy that was mopping. Yes, you're right. I think he was. At the beginning. I think he was. It's quite Scott, a sound effect. Mary Sue. Carl Lamb. Is Carl the name of the guy in the kitchen? I think so. Carl and Lamb. This I love. I love a shelf and a staircase. Yeah, that's great. I'd keep all of this. Probably. Oh, yeah. Blue tablecloths, <laughs> yet they are shorter than the white ones used in the ballroom. He's shocked in okay. a way that makes me think we should have, care more about that. No, that is good because okay. the French guy insisted they use the white tablecloths rather than the blue ones. Yep. And they're longer, so it would hide someone hiding under a table. Oh, interesting. Good thinking, Ash. I mean, I remember the- Maybe? I remember the changing of the thing, but like the fact they would be longer to hide someone, that's interesting. Okay. Maybe. Blue tablecloths, yet they are shorter than I the like white that. ones used in the ballroom. Also, there's no way that they would keep their tablecloths in that weird cupboard under the stairs. You know, this is actually where the bodies usually go. Yeah. Blue tablecloths, yet they are shorter hey. than the white ones used in the ballroom. Welcome, Eddie. Who did she say? Oh, oh, uh, uh the guy who was mopping leaned out from the ballroom and said there's somebody's been shot is yes. that what she said at the nothing end of any Scott, interest okay, here. nothing of any interest here okay i can't go upstairs i love these floors for the record they're, eh, they're okay really you don't like that sort of parquet-ish design i don't know it's okay i guess i've mostly seen it as a fake part as a fake like plastic version of itself. I bet it's probably nicer in person. Yeah. I have a fake a linoleum part. I cannot believe the first thing you tried was not to go to pick up that turk that pig. Oh wow. I just wanted to see where this <laughs> You did not notice the pig? No, but I just wanted to like catch my bearings to see like where are we in relation to the rest of the house. But yeah, that pig is pretty good. The first thing I thought was like, can we pick something up? Can we eat something? Eddie is made of various foods, and it's good to know that. <laughs> okay, what do we pick up there? We find ourselves once again wandering around the house of an old British what man. What do all these annotations mean? Guest list. Oh no! Oh no! Sir Montcalf's on the list. <laughs> oh no! He's in jail. Yeah, that's why he got crossed out. Yeah, I don't think he's going to make it. He's a mummy now. He pretended to set himself on fire and then set an elaborate uh, 
house of mysteries and traps for Sherlock. It's pretty bad. Okay. Major Lockhart. Miss Roundtree has a dot. Uxbridge. Th Colonel yeah. Anderson. So it's like circle X are filled in. Is that right? I guess so. Are we on this list here? Well, I just want to say as an admin that a list of names with commas after all of them 100% tells me that someone was given a paragraph and asked to turn it into a column and they didn't go back and delete all of the commas. <laughs> yeah, but this is old timey before like I find and replace. So somebody was just like, okay. <laughs> uh, yep, <laughs> I guess so. Okay. Uh, so that's the guest list. Okay. And it's women's handwriting. So she's like making a note of people. I guess. Is there a drug smuggling ring? I mean, probably. It's a Sherlock Holmes game. All I want is steak fries right now, by the way. I'm not a big steak fries guy. I think they're, I, don't, I like a thin crispy fry, you know? I do like a thin crispy fry, but any fry is the right fry, you know? Any fry in a storm, certainly. Okay. Here's, uh... Let me introduce myself. Lavania. I am Sherlock Holmes. Oh, Mr. Holmes, the oh. infamous detective. We are heaven blessed by your presence. I am afraid I am still in shock. Is this the French guy? Uh, no. Once again, I wish Holmes would start everything with, and who are you? Yeah, well, ask your presence here. I think that's it. Whom do I have the pleasure of addressing? Oh, I forget myself. Oh. We haven't been properly introduced. I am Herman Grimble, Herman advisor Grimble. to the late Sir Owner Melvin Owner of the Bromsby famous department store? And minority yes. shareholder of Bromsby Enterprises. I don't think Santa exists at all. Tell us what you saw. Controversial I opinion. I think Sir sweet potato Bromsby fries are a mistake. All happened. Yeah. I am sorry, but as such, I could not see anything of interest. But I am convinced that Miss Lavinia had nothing to do with it. Nobody asked you if she did. <laughs> yeah. So you knew Sir Bromsby well, then? What a sad end for such a great man. We first met in India several years ago. That would have been before the birth of Miss Lavinia. We have been business associates and friends ever since that know. moment. I mean, they're fine, Squirrel. Look, if we're at a bar and there's sweet potato fries, of course I will eat the whole basket. But they're not better than regular potato fries. I think the problem is every time I see a sweet potato fry, I expect it to taste like spicy yeah. or like savory somehow. You want and a savory doesn't. fry. You don't want a sweet fry. What I always want is like a Cajun fry. Yes. Or a curly fry. Ah. A, wa a waffle fry. Ah. A waffle or a curly? Well, they are um, so I mean, if people didn't try to serve them with my burger, I would, you know, then I wouldn't be so confused. What were you saying? So this guy is business partners with uh, Bromley. Mm -hmm. And so was that other guy that was standing on the podium. Mm -hmm. They all work together? I guess so. Uh, hold on. Let's... Thank you okay. very much. We'll, we'll, we'll... I am at your disposal. I X out of that so we can look back at this. Um... Grant Sweetney was the guy we talked before. Yes, Scott was the one right wiping the floor. Colonel Patterson, Carl Panister. Yeah, so we got all these names right. So Grant Sweetney okay. was the guy who was was um, the business partner. And this guy seems to also be. Okay, but he's meek and the other guy is not meek. And so that's how we'll remember. Yes. There's nervous guy and lecherous guy. Is there any news, guy. Mr. Holmes? Uh, although if your business was called Bromsby and Grimbles, I don't care what it says. <laughs> I am there. What Sign sort me up, of man subscribe. was Sir Bromsby? He was a man with strong character that at times seemed excessive. He was unyielding, but he was a good he man. He was a tender lover. Have you any knowledge about the succession of his business interests? I believe that Sir Bromsby had drawn up his will with his attorney and friend, Horace Fowlett. When it is read, Horace we will learn in on more everything. about the specifics. Uh, but I can assure you that nothing therein would threaten Bromsby Enterprises. Okay, so Fowlett was his attorney, who I think is also the French guy, right? 
Yes. Mm -hmm. And where is this Mr. Fowlet? He must have been here because he would have most certainly been invited. He killed him and left. Although he is hardly a person of high society. She's sort of like a Disney princess. Like she only has three things she's allowed to do. (laughs) (laughs) Those are the three universal woman poses. There's quite (laughs) puzzling about it. Ah, you talk about the notes that I left for him. Sir Bromsby always improvised his speeches in public as well as in business. Nevertheless, yes, and, it was still necessary say. to remind him about particular points. So I sometimes made notes for him on a sheet of paper. Uh, hold on, he must have made that odd notation himself. It says something oh, about so the blue a one is his. and a snake. What could it mean? It says villager and a snake, I think. Did Sir Bromsby have any enemies? Oh, there are always those who envy a man who is successful in business. But to say that Sir Bromsby had enemies? No. no. I cannot think of anyone who would this desire who his death. Blue Yam According ice cream sounds witnesses, terrifying. Sir Bromsby seemed wanna... anxious. Well, he really was a little worried these days. But it was most certainly due to the strains associated with the reception. Ensuring a good time for his guests and the happiness of his daughter. They have not seen each other in six years. Wow, Perhaps she never came back? could not see her in the room. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's crazy. I am at your disposal. Okay. Now we're going to talk to um, Vasectomy over here. Yeah. Um, Lavinia. Oh, cutscene. Back off. Lisa, Shot. I have nothing to tell you. Everyone stands ready to accuse me of this foul deed. I have done nothing. I have only seen my father die before my very eyes on day of my majority. But... Ah. This now that's just Watson in a funny coat. I can coat. attest to her ah. every move since she first appeared in the doorway. Beg your pardon for speaking so boldly, miss. Right, she does look just like Elizabeth. They like took that character model, <laughs> use it slightly better resolution. She's a hundred percent just Elizabeth. She's wearing the same dress. I did not ask this guy to enter the conversation. I feel like he is an intruder. Well, he's sorry for being so bold. Okay, <laughs> he did apologize. He didn't get there enough. Where were you at the moment of the shooting? I was near the bar speaking with Colonel Patterson. Everybody started applauding and turning towards the stage. I turned to look through the crowd. What did you see? Did you notice anything in particular? When one of the doors opened, I did see a person hidden from the other's view. A beautiful young lady stood just at the threshold. I felt somewhat ashamed for staring at her so intensely, but her considerable charms captured my full attention until the dreadful (laughs) shooting took place. Are you sure it was Miss Bromsby? Yes, Colonel Patterson was next to me and can confirm what I saw. It seems to me that no one else was near us at that precise moment. Okay, so they say they saw Wait. her open a door. That's weird. Why did he describe her as a beautiful woman as if she was a mysterious person? And Sherlock is like, oh, was it Mrs. Bromsley? Bromsby or whatever? And he was like, oh, yes, it was. I'm quite sure. Now that you say it, maybe he hadn't met her yet. And he was wanted to bring you into the story like he experienced. But this this is Mrs. Bromsby. Yeah, but this but this was before they met. He's like, back then I hadn't met her, and I wanted to tell you my experience. Oh, I opened the door. I assumed I that crazy they. Lady. <laughs> I assumed that they had met before because he was so quick to defend her. I mean, that's but also no, possible. he just he just fell in love with her at first sight when she walked in the door. That's possible. Uh, I feel like we're missing a lot of great Ashley uh, gestures and emotions because I feel like you're slide showing a little bit, uh, video wise. Um, uh oh. Do you know? Let me ask you this. You plugged in your Ethernet cable, but are you actually using it? Uh, or does like your computer still yeah. trying to use Wi Fi? No, I'm definitely not Ethernet. My Wi Fi's off. Man, why is Wi Fi. Why would Wi Fi be better? It's like last time it was. Maybe you just have a weird internet tonight. What is your reason hmm. for being here? I owe it to Colonel Patterson. We met each other several days ago at his club. He kindly persuaded me to accompany him. Goodbye. Now I'm over here. Oops, gotta go. Over here. 
Cut. Oh, why am I over here now? I didn't leave that room on purpose. I get you followed him. Now we're over here. Were you at that precise spot at the moment of the murder? Indeed, I was standing just there. I could easily see the door because there were so few people in front of me. What That's did a you do that right not after at this party. the shot was fired? I left the room as did almost everyone. Only the I two people that were here. My excuses to Miss Lavinia for my behavior, don't you think? Yeah. Thank you for your help. It was not a problem. Can I be useful to you? Thank you for your help. It was not a problem. Okay. This guy still won't talk to us. Oh, but the bartender's there oh, now. Yeah. Sir, now will you answer my questions? I am listening to you. I am <laughs> listening to you. Where were you precisely when the tragedy occurred? We had been standing at the bar until the shot rang out, and I personally remained at the bar after it. <laughs> Did you happen to notice Miss Bromsby at that moment? Uh, impossible. My eyesight is so juicedly poor that I would not even mm. notice if a fly fell into my whiskey. Really? Uh, yes. Uh, yeah, yes. Here's shame. a fly. Let's but test. But I have a fine <laughs> ear. I can offer I could much hear a fly when the questions 50 paces. are about sounds. <laughs> I can tell you that from all the applause, that old Bromsby had arrived and entered from my right. Oh, super For the sound to have carried so well, the crowd must have been parted in that direction. I will that add works. that if Lieutenant Harrington says that he saw a flea dancing with a fly in this place, you can take it on trust. Well, he didn't say that. Oh, I'm just okay. saying. He told me that's what it was. Is there anything else? He's a lot of insect well, based Hold metaphors. on a moment. I do now have a smelling. I could smell a wasp <laughs> eating an ant. I can assure you that Bromsby was killed with a right revolver of small caliber. Sh can you show him the one in our pocket? How long have you known Lieutenant Harrington? We met at my officers' club several days ago. A brave boy, you can believe me. What could be better than to invite him to be my be guest better. at this reception, where he could make many fair acquaintances? <laughs> Everyone is trying to get laid in this game. Uh, 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 uh. I think that was the point of the party. <laughs> Thank you for this information, sir. Colonel, is that how you're going to test his eyesight? You show him a picture of the beautiful woman, and if he goes like, oh, wooga, you know that was, yeah. he could really Boy. see. <laughs> Can I, uh... Okay. So. Oh wait, someone's out. Young man. I'm not sure if I can like give people stuff in this game. What if you accidentally kill him just by shooting? Boom. Him? Look, his glasses like appearing and disappearing. That's crazy. Uh, okay. Oh yeah, match the button. This information, wait, sir. Colonel, to you. No, Neither of them are missing a button. It doesn't look like. Can I be useful to you? Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank uh, you for your help. All right. So it these guys. What's problem? I don't know really what I learned there. So like we know that Elizabeth walked into the room at some point. Yeah. So okay, we oh. know that the. <laughs> it's Crispin Glover. <laughs> Definitely ask Crispin Glover your question first. No, go ahead. What are you laying out? Well, we know that... I think that here's what the clues are telling us, are starting to tell us, is that... We know that the maid went into the kitchen and emptied the dustpan and said, Don't you fall asleep now, Claude, or whatever his name is. Carl. And closed it, Carl. And then there was a second noise of it opening and closing. Mm -hmm. And then that's a mystery. And then we also have a mystery of that's a fake a mystery. button, like, like off a costume. Mm -hmm. So that's a mystery. And we also know that <laughs> we also know that it's a party filled with strangers. Mm -hmm. So can we piece together that somebody came dressed as a fake officer, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. snuck in through the dustpan, dustbin, then somehow they got sauce on their hands? <laughs> that's a lot. Yeah. And like ran out, ran out through a series of doors. But. 
Mayor, Mary didn't see anybody run that way, except for Carl, who said came out to tell her about the shot, right? Right. So maybe something else. I'm not quite sure if that well goes someplace or if it's just what what the deal is there. I'm not yeah. sure you could enter or exit through there. They could have disposed of something there, though. Yeah. All right, let's talk to this guy. All right. Ask I would like to ask you several questions, if you don't mind. If I can be of help, sir. Are you one of the household staff? No, I was sent by the Hartford <laughs> Agency to serve at the reception. Where else did we hear Hartford before? I don't remember it, although, was it when Scott was saying that, because he was saying only four of us work here regularly, we hired these other guys to like, put the reception. No, it was something else, but okay, keep going. What were you doing when the tragedy happened? I was serving those two gentlemen. As I was occupied, I saw nothing. All right, you may take or leave. Good evening, sir. Uh, what do you think about this test tube? Is there something else, sir? <laughs> All right. Throw a bunch of dust at him. Good evening, ah. sir. See if you can identify which which sand is the mummy sand. This is just like the dust downstairs. <laughs> so he gestured and said that he was serving those two people. Right. Did he mean the people on the podium? I thought he meant the people, the, the colonel, and the Patterson and uh, the other guy. Oh, okay, yeah. Because they, that's where they said they were. What, more questions? Okay, I thought maybe he had more. Well, thank you very much. It is nothing, dear fellow. Still dead? Is he Is he still dead over there? <laughs> Sir? <laughs> How's it going, buddy? Bang, he's bang, so just kidding. Intense. He's so intense. He's like, <laughs> Sir? <laughs> Thanks, Doctor. <laughs> Never mind. Okay. Never mind. I love to be with the parties. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. I was just about to do the monster mash. <laughs> I beg you, please leave. See me. if you can identify oh, the sauce. The can you take the sauce out of your pocket? One of my hints. Look at the table. Um, I don't think so. Although I was trying to talk to her. And he just was like, I should reveal one of my hints. Already this game is so much better at telling us what we need to be doing. Okay. I didn't know we had any hints. I think he means this. So like, look at this gun. Is this your gun? Aha! This revolver, is it yours? Mm -hmm. Oh dear God. No! Gun. Gun. Yeah, I have a question. Gun. Why would you require a pistol? <sighs> my father gave it to me shortly after I arrived. Dear God. Dear God. What would the police make of this? I swear I did not kill my father. No. Was that her 18th birthday? Her majority birthday gift? Yeah. Didn't you get a pistol from dad on your a 18th pistol. birthday? Yeah. I got one. It's like a sort of a any get your gun scenario. Yeah. You were like, I'm just a girl who can't say no. <laughs> That is Ado Annie, Sorry, but that's it's, Annie it's the same. Ar it's the same same archetype, yeah. I like, um, I like help. I just imagine Sherlock being like, help the murderer, help, help. <laughs> but why would he press you to carry a pistol? He seemed most anxious for my safety and his own. He told me that he would explain everything to me later, after the reception. Miss, with your consent, I can investigate this matter. Always important Mr. to get Holmes, consent. Mr. Grimble has explained to me who you are and what you do. I would be eternally grateful if you could find out who killed my father. That's all right. That's all right. I'm not going to be involved in this. We're officially employed. <laughs> yeah. Booked, booked and blessed. Boom. I must leave you now. Be strong, miss. Thank you, Mr. Holmes. Okay. What do you think about this gun? Is there any news, Mr. Holmes? Uh, Thank no, I literally much. was just here. I am here. at your disposal. Tape measure. How fat is this guy? Let's is there see. any news, Mr. <laughs> Holmes? Black sheets. Thank you very much. I am at your disposal. I think um, Lord Cavendish Smith is probably going to help us a little bit with that, with the cash. 
<laughs> no, this Thank guy said you. now he's gonna Give pay for it. Give me some time to recover my senses. I know we're gonna get we're gonna don't let on we're gonna double dip. We're gonna get paid twice. On <laughs> okay, this one. great. I Track your hours. You. Give me some time to recover my senses. Okay, that's her code for don't bother her anymore. Is there any news, Mr. Holmes? I'm just having no, fun. Thank you very news. much. I am at your disposal. Ah, suspicious. All of your dish cabinets are empty of dishes. <laughs> no, they're right here on the table, Holmes. That's <laughs> what you want me to think, is it? <laughs> ah, I deduce you are having a party. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, we, of course. You have an invitation. A likely story. Can you is that can you pick up that little statue and just throw it across the room? <laughs> no. Well, Venus to Milo. Uh. I don't think so. Okay. Can you go back out to be with Watson now? We could try. I'm trying to get a sense of this game. Like so far, we don't have a puzzle or anything. No, Feels we, like we 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 did our rounds and talked to everyone and picked up all the clues. Oh wait, we got a new guy. You do not seem the least bit alarmed. In India, I became quite familiar with the sound of gunshots. Therefore, their sudden occurrence does not alarm me as they would a woman or certain officers you know, in attendance. A woman like. <laughs> hey, your presence here. Could you explain your <laughs> presence at this reception? Bromsby sent me two invitations for myself and the wife. My wife has oh fainted due to the shock of these events. Fainted when she realized she married me. A good while longer, <laughs> so that I may toss off several glasses of this excellent sherry. <laughs> you know, marriage, right? <laughs> Why didn't Sky you intervene? Doesn't have a wife. It at all. would have been of no use. Whoever he is, the man who did this is either a perfect shot or extremely lucky. Because old Bromsby had no chance at all. Very well. Thank you. Very My well. pleasure. If this is the voice you've chosen, very well. My I pleasure. am listening. Can I um Show him the gun? Yeah. I can't tell if I can very only well. do that when Thank I'm not you. in the dialogue. My pleasure. It doesn't like give me a highlight state. Please, sir, leave me to my sherry. I've already told you everything I know. You want to do some white powder? Please, sir, leave me to my sherry. I've already <laughs> told you everything oh, let's I try know. Oh, this button on him now. I got two invitations. One for Please, me. Please, sir, leave me to my, my sherry. Wife. I've already Judy, told you Judy, everything Judy. I know. <laughs> she lives in Canada. She definitely exists. <laughs> I take care of the party when the <laughs> master is away. Ah, uh, she's fainted. Ah, oops, no. Uh, he really thinks about a door before he goes through it. He's responsible. Yeah. <laughs> Do I really want to get into this? He thinks. <laughs> it is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined. Okay, so we've got more yet. to do. Okay, we got a lot of info. Okay, so this seems to be our sort of active clues board here. So, in the ballroom, the handle of the door leading to the kitchen corridor has been twisted down. Although that didn't, um, uh, that didn't prevent us from going through it, right? Right. Uh, in the corridor, I don't kitchen... know what twisted down means. I, neither do I. I thought maybe it was broken or something. I, I don't really know. Uh, in the corner yeah. of the kitchen, there is the smell of gunpowder. In the corner, okay. a large black cloth found behind the statue. Considering its size, it could have hidden someone in that nook. So, like, maybe you're, like, you put it over, you have behind the statue, hope you're in the shadow. Yeah, where is the kitchen in relation? Hey, hey, can we pull up a map? <laughs> I tell you, plan? no problem. Okay, so which one of those doors is the kitchen? Um... I'm confused. The kitchen, I want to say, was like in this area, probably. So the corridor leading to the kitchen is where they found the gun, or that smelled of gunpowder? Yes, the corridor eventually leading where to I the kitchen, yeah. I think. And what was what was the door that uh, Latvia was seen standing in? It's either this door here, or the one yeah. over there. They both lead to the hallway. I think it's this one. This is where we found those clues. This is the place that smells like gunpowder. 
And is this the kitchen? And that's also where she was seen? And this is the kitchen, yes. I think so. Or she was seen farther down the hallway, I'm not 100% sure. But I think it's this door. So we're assuming they open the door, bing, bang, boom. Uh, yeah, but I like your tablecloth open, theory. Open the door, covered themselves with the dark cloth, bup, 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 took up the dark cloth, ran to through the other one doors or something and came back to the party or disappeared. Yeah, possibly. Or, yeah, or disappeared through through the kitchen and the dustbin somehow or some kind of weird yeah. side door. But this is the other door I was talking about. So it's, this is like the one closer to the stage. Because now we're right here. You know okay, I mean? yeah. Yeah, well, it couldn't have been one of the doors behind them. Because, well, I guess where was she shot? He was shot, he was shot from the front. Uh, yeah. Any more questions? Thank you, Mary. Not to worry, sir. Can I show you anything? Any more questions? It's interesting you're given a tape measure. Can Are we supposed to be like measuring from the podium to some place to like see a shot, how a shot would have worked or something? Maybe, I like that. Yeah, she's gonna like scrub a hole through that carpet. Yeah. She also doesn't, like, her boss is dead. Thank she you, take Mary. a break. Not to worry, sir. <laughs> uh, okay. But we can go try to measure out there. Do you enjoy this music more? Or more or less than uh, the first one, right? Much more. Much more. Um, I would say it's a little repetitive at times, but it's much less repetitive. Yeah. And, oh, God, that last one. Mm. Dustin Ice had a lot of hits, but... Thanks, Doctor. That was <laughs> tough. And that, that isn't one of them. That was not one of them. Maybe someone snuck in through the, through the fireplace. No. I like that. Sir? I'm kind of not sure Thanks, doctor. what Never the mind. method of giving or showing people things is, like how it's supposed to work. Let's see. Dragon well, it seems button. like... What, more questions? So I, I, I clicked the button on him, but now he just wants to talk. And I don't know if in this close-up yeah. view I can, you know, this isn't doing anything, but I don't know if it's because there's something to do. It seems like a doctor would know what this power Well, is. thank you very much. It is nothing, dear fellow. Um, yeah, and I was trying to measure the body or click on it. Let's try it again. I don't see a hot spot on the body other than the doctor. Show the um, picture of the cute so? girl to the creepy fresh meat man. Yeah, okay, sure, great. Thanks, Doctor. We're gonna get, <laughs> Never mind. We're gonna get, now we're an accessory to whatever he does. I hope you know that. <laughs> what, more questions? No. Well, yeah, it seems thank you like it is nothing, dear fellow. It does seem like, oh no, I was gonna say, for example, the guy at the bar was like, "I won't talk to you unless you do this." So maybe we'll know the character will say something when we have something to give them. Yeah, I mean, when we were done with that, with, with the talky stuff he was like i should use one of my clues thank you so maybe that's yeah. some again. time to recover my senses but i don't know if it always happens or if they're just giving us like a hint at the early stuff you know yeah thank you give me some time to recover my senses no she's clearly telling you she doesn't have anything more to do yeah okay thank you give me so we've some got to time find to something else my or senses. interact with something else Just punch the window. Oh, ah! Okay. <laughs> now it's nice in here. This uniform button feels like something I should be able to ask one of those guys about. And they're like, this is clearly a face. Is there any news, yeah. Mr. Holmes? Thank you very much. 
I am at your disposal. Yeah, but you have a lot of inventory right now, so it's not obvious what's going to be used yet, if that makes sense. Mm hmm it does. Train and ship tickets from Geneva to London. Hey, I just thought of something. Can I ask you a question? <laughs> look in, can you look in your book and see the date of that of the senses. tickets? Maybe she got in a date or before she said she did. That's a classic Agatha Christie move. Yeah. Uh, no. I don't have the tickets here. Can we see who the names are that are marked again? This? Uh, I'm sorry, the list that had the X's oh. and the O's and the filled in. Yeah. It's my cast. Patterson. So Sweeney is someone we talked to. Uh, yeah, no. That was Sweetly, I think. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. Because, yeah, Sweetney. Speed. Sweetney. Oh, okay. Yeah, this could be a, you know, mistake. Mr. and Mrs. Blackface are not allowed at this party. <laughs> Can I just make my own no judgment thanks. on that one? <laughs> no, that thanks. Is too much. <laughs> no, thanks. Now, Patterson is marked. He's the colonel we've been talking to. With his with a circle and an X. Yeah, I wonder. I was thinking, is this like a plus one type scenario? Like who's bringing? Yeah, I thought it was going to be like who's single and not single or something. You're you're. Do you think like, this is a whole orgy scenario? Whoops, I hit X. Here now, watch your step. I am... If you're a reporter, they better be a doctor nearby. Because when I get done with you, you'll need one. Look here, my good man. We finally man. get to meet Lamb. I am a doctor, Doctor Watson, in fact. And believe me, Doctor Watson. Hold on. Hold on. Are you the Doctor Watson who writes about all those cases solved by Sherlock Holmes? <laughs> oh, I've read all this. your adventures. Well, sorry, I accidentally clicked exit on the map, which brought us back here. So maybe sometimes we have to go back and forth yeah. just on our own. Like choose yeah, to go because see it seems it. like we finished all the Sherlock stuff. Now we have to do the Watson stuff. Because it's interesting, the thing he says is like, I'm not ready to join Watson yet. So maybe then they come together and like swap clues. Yeah, okay, okay, I like it. Uh, who are you? Who are you? My name is Lamb, Governor. I'm Sir Bromsby's coachman. Tell me, yeah. is he really that clever, this Sherlock Holmes? No. I need your mission statement. Look sharp, Lamb. Sherlock Holmes and I require your able assistance. No doubt. It's insane Stand that he didn't question that his name was Lamb. And make sure no one enters or leaves until Holmes or myself returns. My pleasure, Dr. Watson. You tell Mr. Holmes that if anybody even steps on the lawn, they'll have to deal with Lamb. And I can tell you, I there are a few bold enough to dare my fists. If anyone dares to wrist my fist, it'll buff and it's wham, understand? <laughs> I'm Popeye the Sailor Man. This door is blocked. That gate is the only way in or out of here, Dr. Watson. Oh, folks, you didn't want me to let anyone in and out. And, and now you're mad that the door is locked. <laughs> well, if anyone tries well, to make well, it well. Just another day in the life of <laughs> Lamb. <laughs> Strong men terrified <laughs> to hear it. <laughs> Sorry, I leave you, Lamb. Right, excited. I'll stand guard. What did he say about the door? Uh, great question. Yes, sir. This door uh, is yeah. blocked. That gate is the only way in or out of here, Dr. Watson. I've already secured the other door on orders of Miss Lambert to avoid them nosy reporters. If anyone tries to make a break through the garden, they won't get past me. Which is good, because I'm the murderer. Why are, there so many re why are there so many reporters at this party? I leave or you, threat Lamb. Of reporters? Right, I'll stand guard. It's... I love you, Lamb. Okay. <laughs> I love you, my Lamb. <laughs> I must leave you, my love. Now, Ryan, this is a real question. Can you wear his hat? <laughs> yes, hey, sir. Uh, not seeing anything listed here about uh, borrowing the okay. hat. I leave you, Lamb. You right. probably, you probably leave and come God. back, and then you can. It looks like I've got all of Holmes's inventory. Yes, sir. Shoot him. <laughs> Bam! You I leave stop you, trying Lamb. to shoot right. everyone. I'll stand face. guard. Yes, fun. sir. All right, we're not gonna. We're I not leave gonna. you, Lamb. What, what? Right? Yeah, I, I'll I stand know. guard. Uh, okay. All right. 
Oh, now we get to investigate the grounds. Yeah. Oh, there's people. Oh, that guy. Yeah, talk to Shaky Head guy first. Oh, talk to Ryan. Guy? Turn around. Turn oh, around. this guy. No, this... the guy sitting on the bench. Yeah. Okay. He's doing a, a lot of telegraphing about his sorrow. And He's... I want to get to the bottom. Hello. Of it. <laughs> Please excuse me. I'm investigating the murder that has just happened. Oh yes. Well, that is. I think Watson got a new voice. You know? Uh, I can't quite figure out <laughs> what's going on with this guy, but I love it. Where were you at the moment when Sir Bromsby was killed? I was near the stage, and I saw him falling. Oh, my goodness. It was terrifying. I ran for the door, but despite all my efforts, it was blocked. Hey, what's with Someone you? Someone just put a bunch of, like, action words in a bag and mixed them up and pulled them <laughs> out per character. And he was like, you're going to be fast. <laughs> Uh, why, why do seven of these just say Cockney? Just do it. It's fine. <laughs> it's but your fine. costume is torn. How did this happen? When I was trying to open the door, Whoa. the crowd dragged me away. I then fell to the floor. I fortunately suffered no harm. But when I arose, my beautiful costume was ripped and stained. Well, we're all upset. Well, I He's won't in disturb a costume. you anymore. Yes, no, th fine, th thanks. I can't tell if that is just like an old timey way of saying your nice clothes. I feel like they, I feel like they have mistranslated fancy dress, which is fancy dress in Britain means mm -hmm. costume and fancy dress in the United States means like nice clothing. Yeah, I could see that. Uh, okay, well this guy, so I, we didn't even we... learn his name. No, we, did we assume he has a, that's his button? Oh, that's Satterthwaite. Satterthwaite from Sheringford. Um, well, we could try it. He's not wearing a uniform. Yes, yes, what? No. Yes, uh, what? Well, I won't disturb you anymore. Yes, no, th fine. I mean, you can Thanks. leave, but you'll still be disturbing. Ask him about that white powder, because I think we know it's his. <laughs> Excuse me, Stud. may I speak with you? Yeah, Welcome, Stud. Servant, it's wild sir. over here. Are you one of the domestics employed by the hall? No, I am the personal servant to old Satterthwaite. <laughs> he is there, sitting on that bench. He seems right enough, but he refused a small refused. drink for his elf. Surely he cannot be well. And what exactly is your deal? <laughs> Tell me, I just am like shocked by I every heard the part shots, of that performance. <laughs> then such a strange noise, and the next thing I know, all those money bags are running in a mad rush with their wives or whatever. Thank you for your help. Yes, My sir. pleasure. What's up, man? Okay, so he had a. No, <laughs> no, is that, no, he's the lurking in the back. Is that oh. the same guy? <laughs> no, I think it's a different guy. No, that's a different guy. We just didn't see him before. We got sad. Oh, he's so sad. <laughs> sad Jimmy he's so Smith. Sad. Oh, I left NYPD <laughs> blue for this. Sad Jimmy Smith. All right, I gotta talk to Smith. Fagan here first. And yeah. You, what are you doing here? I'm waiting for Miss Roundtree, the next banker chap. She is inconsolable, all because her admirer of a mere three days' acquaintance had already abandoned her. Nothing unusual about that. There is no worse tempered female than this girl. Well, maybe other than my wife. I got his bed clothes. It's still warm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I really like how that was. More boggle bog. So everyone's waiting for some nervous Nelly to to exit so they can go home. The, the servants class does not care about the murder at all. No. You heard the shot. I just left to relieve myself. I mean, the view is definitely the much garden, better in this game. See? Seems to me I missed a good race for the doors. Worthy of the Royal Derby. It's Derby. You know it's Derby. <laughs> you knew it was Derby. You knew it when you said it. You're like well, consulting good. your Cheers. your uh, standard British <laughs> pronunciation guide. Hey, buddy. Yeah, t I'm so worried about him, Ryan. Hey, are you okay? 
Well, my good man, why are you here? I am really? the manservant of Lieutenant Harrington. I ac accompanied him with the old general of the infantry or whatever. I seem to sure. have drunk too much. Mm, yeah, I noticed that. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. Just You can just talk about it. It's fine. That's fine. Listen, I, I gotta be honest with you. I, I drank too much. <laughs> Did before. you hear the shot? What you shot? sit down. Oh, the shot. <laughs> Great reception, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, no. Uh, I have to He's go. He's really a positive drunk. Though. All right. Very good. Bye, madam. Uh, don't drive a carriage later. <laughs> That's comedy. <laughs> oh, Stod, Stod, you need a pitch for the game? Oh, no problem. Ash, take it away. Da 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 da. We're Sherlock and Watson. I thought it was there all going to be a song for a second. <laughs> We're Sherlock and Watson. We got a letter from L. Lord Cavernish Smith, mm -hmm. who said, hey, uh-oh, uh, <laughs> uh -oh. in a while, we're going to have a birthday party for an honoree who's very important, and I can't tell you about it. It's a secret, and we want to have this person perform. She's a pretty diva singer lady, but we don't know if she's on the up and up, so we need you to check into her. But here's a great way to check into her. Uh, across town, she's also singing at this other birthday party for a young woman who just got out of boarding school and is turning 18. Go to that birthday party and check out the singing lady and see if she's cool. And Sherlock is like, this is very important. You can get into any birthday to the party. party in the whole town, Sherlock. Everyone loves you. The dad who's hosting this party for his daughter gets up at a podium and goes, welcome everybody, I've got something to say. Boom, shot in the chest, <laughs> dead in the, on the platform. It was really quite good. And so now Sherlock is in the house talking to all the upstairs people. Watson's outside talking to all the downstairs people. The party consisted of all officers and low class women. <laughs> I'm suspicious that it was some kind of matchmaking Yenta situation. We found a lot of white powder. We did. <laughs> we found a lot of mysterious white powder. A lot of white powder, uh, some borderline pornography, and a gun. And so far, it's been about a dozen various British accents delivered at various speeds. It's pretty good. I mean, it's definitely a step up from the mummy. Several steps. Definitely. Definitely. Um, we also the 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 daughter is being sort of side eyed as a possible murder suspect. We're gonna try yeah. to make sure that doesn't happen because she's probably innocent. And um, that's about all of it. Oh, this Do must be Sue. Here, Sue Miss? and the crying yes, woman. Yes, my name is Sue. I am a maid for the hall. This is my camera. Where were you when these tragic events took place? You know, yeah, we haven't solved a single happened. puzzle yet. We ran straight for the door, we, just we like gave... the others. I swear his daughter must have done it. She's such a strange one. We gave someone a gun. I, it is, it's, this is going to be more of a dialogue-driven experience, I'm guessing, you know? It's definitely true, and I think it's going to be a lot of gathering evidence and things, but we haven't had to actually, like, yeah. This is Watson stuff. We get to, we get to bounce between Watson and Sherlock. Uh, uh, I feel like she has too many, too much of a top arm. Her elbow is too low, you know? Too much top arm. Too much top arm. Hey, if I could just, one criticism. Too much top yeah. arm, don't you think? <laughs> You're well, right. Well, we haven't seen a single puzzle box, which makes me place. feel like this isn't actually a British man. I ran yeah. straight for the door, just like the others. You're right. It has been a while. I mean, I like the slow it. burn, and I like talking one. to characters. But it has been a little while. I like talking to characters you, a Miss. lot, but we, we haven't had to solve to anything again. yet. Oh, or deduce anything. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I'm sorry, the line was hi, hi, hi. Hi, hi, hi. Are you a relative of the victim? <laughs> no. In truth, I always mocked Sir Bromsby. I didn't ask that. I am upset because my friend did not arrive as <laughs> promised. That's okay, that's fair, but you shouldn't cruel. still be crying about it after a man murdered was murdered, you know? I mean, what's the man murder going to cheer you up? <laughs> no. Yeah, oh, well, that's true. 
Um, okay, so I think so. This is the one who was, who was crying, who we heard about earlier. It's also Roundtree. Over, this is Miss Roundtree, probably. Is that her name? Yes, Miss Roundtree. Because this other servant guy was like, she's crying over because she's not in for three days, right? Oh, right. And that's who he's. It's your about. funeral. It's your funeral. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is a character from a community theater production of Oliver. <laughs> I have a question for you. Never before Who will I? watch it more. <laughs> Pile peaches uh, and okay. cream about. <laughs> Miss Lambert, I have uh, been looking for you. What a tragedy. You looking like Simply that. Simply dreadful. Can't believe what they're saying about Miss Lavinia. I are both like the same confused <laughs> because I just realized I don't know who Miss Lambert is yeah. because I feel like I feel like there we, she's been mentioned several times before yeah. and my mind just made her Lavinia like I just was like yeah same person <laughs> yeah yes that is my so, oh, precise oh. journey as well all of a sudden I'm questioning everything Miss Lambert was helping uh, run the party right she was made the guest list we found at least one giant rag, Stud. Let's just ask her. Why did you open the gates so hastily? I was so upset. I know now it was imprudent. I should have waited until the authorities arrived, but some of those gentlemen were so loudly insistent that I yielded. Did let everybody out of the room? Is that what the deal is? Yeah. Have you informed the, the police? We're out of the front gates, I think, maybe. The village constable attended the reception. He left on his bicycle. I assumed to inform the proper Didn't authorities. He told me that an inspector from Scotland Yard was already in the area, on official business. I know nothing about the nature of his business, but I was told he should arrive soon. He's probably going to check out the murder, don't you think? That probably is his business. What sort of so man was, What was, was the business he was already there for? Oh, I thought he was, he invited. was a great man. The people of the no, that was considered the underling, him to be very strict, oh, the but I think it was just his way of showing a fatherly attitude. And he dreamed of this day when Miss Lavinia would return. Okay, so she's like, uh, you know, governess of the house, I assume, right? Yeah, that seems right. Oh, and is she the one that wanted to use the blue tablecloth? And she was mad that the French guy was, like, taking over the house and wanting French food? I think so. I don't know. I thought she was Lavinia the whole time, so... That sounds right. I wish we could do, like, a search on these notes. You have a list okay. of guests. Oh, of course. I have a complete guest list for the reception. It's inside the dining room. I believe the police will have need of it. Well, nevertheless, I must first caution them to pay little heed to the notations I've made regarding certain names. Oh, let's talk about those annotations that we like to hear about. Why were these notations made? Their purpose was to note particular seating arrangements for the meal and the recital, according to specific concerns. Those individuals whom I considered to be very important were marked with a circle. What about the other okay. odd marks? Louis Philippe, uh, I mean Monsieur de la Mazardière, suggested this method of arranging the seating. He also advised me that those guests with poor eyesight and hearing should be seated so that the acoustics and lighting in their room would favour their enjoyment of the recital. Oh. So the first category was marked with a point, the second with a cross. Okay. Point means poor eyesight. Cross means poor hearing. Cross. What do you know about okay. this Frenchman? He is from a noble family, but found himself forced to seek a vocation as a head waiter. He is so inspired and keenly sensitive to the details. At first, I was afraid that Sir Bronsby would take offence with his suggestions but he had moderated his opinions regarding French culture due to the influence of his friend, Horace Fowlett. Okay, what so did he do Frenchman was is friends so with that. extraordinary? His assistance was invaluable. He Fresh. took such concerns with every little detail. The dishes, the tablecloths, everything. He not only declined an offer of lodging here at the hall, he also deferred his wages until the end of the reception. Oh, I would be so glad oh. if he were here now. Oh, that would go down smooth. Okay, I gotta admit that I thought I also thought Frolet was the French. Guy. I did too. So it seems like uh, uh, LP de la Messardier, who we found um, yeah. the card from, is the Frenchman. 
makes sense. He was the head waiter. They'd hired him to help with the event, I assume. And then Fallon is his buddy, who I don't really quite know how he fits in. He's the attorney because he was talking about. Oh right, the attorney. He made the new will. He made the new will. That's good. Okay, work. so this is a, this is suspicious that some of the person who made the new will is friends with a person who claims to be of high rank, but now has to be a head waiter. Right, and he's also coming and he, changing everything. Yeah. And wasn't his card found in a book that was like how to learn French? Like maybe he's not even French. <laughs> it was. That's true. That's a pretty lazy thing to do is to leave your house. how to how to con Sherlock Holmes book aside. Okay. And where has he gone? De la he bon. had pressing business in London. In fact, he found it necessary to visit his Harley Street physician. It seems his glasses were no longer helping with his eyesight. Okay, the Frenchman is also uh, not good at seeing things. Okay. You have been very kind, Miss Lambert. You are most welcome. Oh. So can we look at that list tragedy. again and see who was blind and who was here. hard of hearing? I'll go see if Holmes has finished on his end. Oh. Well, because if that, that's like an incredible mystery clue, if it's going to tell us like who to trust and who not to trust. Yeah. About like their testimonies. But I'm never going to remember. Okay. The circles were important people, right? Ye well, let's look. We have it here. Yeah, circles were important. The point, which I think is a filled-in circle, is hearing. Circle. Okay. Um, poor eyesight and hearing. Okay. Yes. So the dot is eye is poor hearing, and the cross. Is poor. Is poor I'm sorry. The dot is poor eyesight, and the cross is poor. Okay. Hearing. Okay. Okay. So Moncalf has poor hearing, as does Colonel Patterson, which he told us. No, no. Colonel Patterson he, said he had good hearing. Yeah, he told us he had bad eyesight, but he didn't tell us he had bad hearing. Right. But In fact, he said he was great at hearing. Right. But according to Miss Lambert, not so much. He's just blind and deaf. Mm -hmm. And then Sweeney, who is on standing on the stage. Well, actually, Sweetney is on the stage, but this may just be a misprint. Uh, he apparently is important. And Miss Yeah, Monkaf is back, apparently. This is, uh, he maybe he got out of jail. Yeah. I thought the X-Men, he couldn't make it, but it just means, you know, he doesn't <laughs> hear so well ever since being a mummy. So please bring him closer to the stage. After pretending to catch himself on fire. <laughs> Welcome to my More daughter's- What? <laughs> Take off Lord the Ingles mummy Wilder wrap. Can't has trouble seeing. No, that's right. She's a famous author. She's yeah. blind as a bat. Uh, oh, Miss Roundtree, who is the one who was sad, also not has uh -huh. poor eyesight. Okay, so maybe the person she wanted to show up was there the whole time. Yeah, he was just like missed it. <laughs> okay. 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 Was there something we were supposed to catch about all the servants being like, my person stormed out the door? Was there a nuance there I wasn't getting? Not that I picked up on. I think everyone was basically allowed to just storm out. And that's why Watson was like, why'd you let everybody leave this murder? And she's like, well, you know how it goes. Yeah. Oh, I don't have a map anymore for some reason. Okay, so I'm done. Well, I'm done with Watson, but there's still some more Sherlocking to do with there. Okay. Did you? Did it just go back to here, or did yeah, you imagine. bring it back to here? Uh, Holmes, or Watson, at the end of that conversation, Watson was like, I've done everything I can. Let's see how Holmes is doing, you know? Got it. Uh, so there must be some stuff we... we he sort of, do. like, threw it to you like you were the weather or something. Yes. Now, with some more questioning, Sherlock Holmes. Sherlock? <laughs> Thank you, Watson. It's going to be a low front coming <laughs> from Canada. Please, sir, leave me so to what my did sherry. We... I've already told you everything I know. Well, now we so know. If we what... go back to, sorry. Yeah, if we go back to the guy at the bar, Patterson. now that we know he can't hear anything. That was my thought too. I wish I could just see him walk a little longer. It says because it can... really helps me. It says I can double click, but that's not doing anything. Also, this guy takes forever to turn around to talk to me. Young man, young man. Put your pride on the shelf. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah. Where were you precisely when the tragedy occurred? We had been standing He's leaning at the into bar here too. I should have gotten that clue. Rang out. Yeah. And I personally remained at the bar after it. Is there anything else you recall? Well, hold on a moment. I do have a scoop for your tabloid. I can oh. assure you that Bromsby was killed with a right revolver of small caliber. Calibre. How long have you known Lieutenant Harrington? We met at my office. Uh, yeah. Did you happen to notice Miss Bromsby at that moment? Uh, impossible. My eyesight is so deucedly poor that I would not even notice if a fly fell into my whiskey. Really? Well, you're uh, drinking yes. wine, so... Damn shame. It's part of it. But I have a fine ear. I can offer much when the questions are about sounds. I can tell you that from all the applause, that old Bromsby had arrived and entered from my right. Well, we know, he's like, to have there's nothing so to his well, right. He's on the far right the side of the room. The crowd must have been parted yeah. in that direction. I will add that if Lieutenant Harrington says that he saw... Thank you. Okay, so now are we supposed to not believe what that he said this guy was trustworthy? Well, we're supposed to not believe uh, any basically anything he said about the like direction stuff. But I'm not sure if there's more to it than that. What do you mean, like, like Har like this Lieutenant Harrington? We're supposed to also not trust you think? Well, all of that was a lie, and then he also says, "I can also tell you, you can trust everything this guy says because he's great," which feels like that's also a lie. That's true, but this guy may not be lying. He just might be deluded about his sense of hearing. True. Were you at? All right, we've heard all this. So it was. Um, is there something I can like? This uniform button is is really still interesting to me. Yeah. Let's talk to this. Can guy. you combine things in your pocket? Can you? I think so. What do you want to try? Sir. Can you? Oh. Just the. Oh yeah. Ask about French people. Did you know the Frenchman? Oh, he chatters on like all the French. I do not think he came back. I like Todd very carefully. I see you have a gun. <laughs> this is, uh, it's not ours. We're just holding it for a friend, Todd. Thank you for your help. My pleasure. We found it in a purse. Yeah, we, we did. We also, we always find a weird <laughs> purse in this game. Um... Is there something else, sir? All right. Good evening. Uh, you want me to try this powder on the gun? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, or, or the button or something. Can we use it to dust for fingerprints? I mean, it would be weird to dust for fingerprints for just some, like, dust we found on the ground, but... <laughs> okay. Oh, look, this does... Hey, use what you got. This does do, like, a different hand when I get the test. Is there something else, sir? Give me a shot of whiskey in this test. All right. You may take or leave. <laughs> Spit in Good this. Good evening, sir. Spit in this. It's for science. <laughs> Hello. Let me measure we, my we gotta use that cloth in peace. I think we need to keep, pull that measure tape out and just walk around and see where we can use it. Because it's the only thing Is we haven't interacted else, with sir? yet. Yeah. Are you We're one of the up. household stuff? No. I... Okay. Uh, try to try to fit right, someone buddy. for a suit. There you go, Harrington. Or Patterson. Oh, that's interesting. No. Young man. Oh. Put your pride on the shelf. Thank you for this, Colonel. I really wish he would pour you a shot if you clicked shot. Mm -hmm. so let's look back mm -hmm. here again. This is like the clue hallway. Let's measure this uh, nice, nice handsome armor. Yeah. armor. Handsome armor. What would you have to measure? Can you measure the well to see if someone can fit down it or whatever that dustpin is? I like it. I don't understand. Is this something I'm supposed to understand? This rich people hole? This is diabolically heavy. I know. It, it's unclear. It's supposed to, it's, it calls it a dustbin, but like, where does it go? Um, I like the game so far, Stud. I'm actually a little worried that it's too good and not that funny. Although, Agatha Christie's ABC Murders was also good. Mm hmm.
movies mostly. And no one expects us to be Nothing funny. Nothing of any no. interest here. Um, I feel like we ha- I, I don't know. I can't tell if we just like haven't quite gotten to the meat of it or we can't get the hang of it yet. I feel like there's, I'm like kind of, of waiting for like a, the next level to happen. Yeah, like we haven't quite figured out like what the pattern is. Nothing yeah, because we don't have anything to like yet. do yet or any problems have arisen yet. We've just like casually walked room to room, talked to people, which I actually Nothing really like. I like, here. you know, figuring out the timeline and figuring out who's lying and that kind of stuff. Yeah, I like that a but lot. We haven't done any puzzles or like had any friction points yet. Yeah, you're right. Um, that is the weirdest part of this. Uh, to, to Stad's question, what I like so far is I like the adventure games where you talk to people. Like, that's my favorite thing. There yeah. wasn't really any people in the last one. So I like yeah. uh, I like learning stuff and contradictions and like figuring out who's lying um, and like different characters. So that's what I like about these kind of games. But yeah, we haven't actually like solved the puzzle yet, which you're totally right about. Yes. I want to ask what this guy says again, because now that we know who this French guy is, I, I think it might have some more context. Yeah. A Frenchman. Yes, well, a squint-eyed Frenchman. That must be done like this, this, and this must be placed like that. Well, he may well be a connoisseur of fine cuisine and service, but of everything else, Miss Lambert dared not even contradict him about the tablecloth. Okay. Okay. How would, well, as an employer, he was not easily satisfied, always insisting on some Indian or French dish. Oh, okay. That old so Fowlett put it into Br Tim Bromsky's you, head right. that the Frenchman knew everything. So they were sort of got it. They were buds, right? Okay. I love Phoenix, right? Yeah, we should play that on this uh, on this stream. I think I have the Steam versions of those games. Um, Phoenix, right? Is really good. Can you measure? It is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. Oh, the, so that's the outside. Okay. Oh, look, what's <gasps> this? Look, what's this? Yeah, you need to remind me. Black hair. hair. Black hair. White hat. I don't <laughs> worry, cause my Watson's fat. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played it, Thad. I think that I saw, Ryan, is that one that you had on your DS or something? Yeah. I think I've seen you play it handheld before. Yes, correct. Black hair. Did you also put the hair hair in that test tube? Because that test tube now just has a bunch of weird, mysterious powders and a piece of hair, and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it at all. It seems separate from the test tubes, although it's I can't quite tell. This icon does change, and I don't know. You know what? Hold on. Let's actually uh, let's actually look at the manual, the game manual. A manual? Who'd have thought? A manual, Lewis. Um, because I want to see if that different icon means something <laughs> different. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, okay. We have need a Pentium three. Do we have that? Uh, a Pentium three processor? Yeah. Yes. Great. No, I don't know. Uh, a Pentium three. What yes. is that? Uh, it's just a kind of. Uh, computer chip that is very old. We definitely have a better processor than that. Oh, I <laughs> wait a second. I genuinely thought that you had opened the manual and you were telling us like, oh, what we're missing for this clue <laughs> is we need a Pentium 3. And I was like, <laughs> okay, thinking that was some kind of old timey abacus or something. Yeah, I mean, basically now it is the old timey abacus. Um, okay, I was just looking at this, the manual. Uh, hey, apparently we're gonna have a table of analysis at Baker Street. This is going to be Ooh. great. Um, oh, interesting. I think we did actually miss something because this is giving me the like, here's what you should do first to learn how to use the game. OK, but before we get to that. Um, oh, the cursors. OK. Yeah, interesting. This the <laughs> cursor that I'm seeing isn't listed here. This is just main cursor. We haven't found one bottle of laudanum yet. You're right. That's suspicious. Oh, we absolutely will. I'll put money on it that we'll see laudanum in this game. <laughs> Vibranium. Okay, back to the business. 
Um, so we're missing a cursor? No, well, just, okay. It's, it's the curse of the cursor? So you can see this, this version of the hand is like that, right? Yeah. And then sometimes it's like that. And I don't know yeah. what the difference is. It feels like there probably is a difference. Like I can use it with or something, but I haven't, you know. I'm trying to somehow demonstrate them. Uh-huh. Yeah, you got it. Uh, I haven't figured it out yet. Okay, I tell you what I did notice while I was looking in that manual, though. It's got, sometimes those old adventure games would be like, people don't know how to play adventure games, so we'll get them started. And it was like, in the first 10 minutes, you should do this. And it's like, the first thing you should do is pick up the piece of cloth on the chair. And I'm like, I don't remember doing that. <laughs> possible we didn't find another rag i know what's uh, happening <laughs> okay <gasps> a piece of cloth on a chair i didn't quite i didn't read too much about where it was because i wanted to maintain the... let's see where, where else were their chairs in the background? uh No pots. Maybe we picked it up and I forgot. I mean, we have this black sheet, but I don't think that's what it was talking about. Yeah, because that was in a corner. That was behind the suit of armor. The right. handsome suit of armor. The handsome suit of armor. Nothing of any interest here. Rude. Look, we have another one of those weird light sculptures that was in the previous game. They don't really think the designers can't figure out how to draw a lamp. Um, this is my, this is probably a Ukrainian thing where they make this game. You know, it's like, oh yeah, in oh, Ukraine, they've got cooler lamps than us. Yeah, we got yeah. all the best lamps. Yeah. A textbook to study French. A textbook to study French. Well, with magnifying yeah, glasses. Yeah, that head waiter guy is definitely not French. Yeah, I think you're right. Although we were told that uh, baby Lavinia had the eye and eyes for the French man. So maybe she was learning French. I mean, she, right. Be, that could have been a card he gave graces. her. Like, here's my card. Yeah, I could see that. Is that, all, that's your move too, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, here's my card. You just, um, that's not your card. It's in French. I'm French. Does your card also say you're a head waiter? Yep. Great. Uh, well, it says I'm a head cheese, which people don't usually figure out what I'm trying to say. Okay, okay. I love that now we're just going every, to every room looking for a chair. <laughs> Look. What's this? Weird that I can't pick this up or do anything. Oh with yeah, scissors. mustache trimmer. It's a pair of mustache scissors. It's a pair of mustache scissors. Who had a mustache so far? Well, Can you open the little, yeah. I think Bromsby did, but I don't know. I don't think we have a picture of him. Yeah, I think there are pictures by everyone. Oh, yeah, but we didn't tell, talk though. to Bromsby, he's dead. Oh no, <laughs> Brian, I've just heard. <laughs> it's terrible news. Every ca doctor, the doctor, Grant, <laughs> Colonel Patterson, You're Lieutenant right. Harrington. It's turn of the century, London. They all have mustaches. Ogahan. <laughs> Whatever that is, Major Lockhart, they've all got mustaches. Watson had a mustache. I I would love it if the murder turns out to be Watson. Yeah, sorry, but Sherlock can't convict him because they're secret lovers. Yeah. Couldn't, didn't know how to tell you. I love murder. Maybe the first mystery is that the cloth on the chair is a red herring. Now I'm wondering if I just misread it or if they moved it later. Wait, wait, wait. Is this a clue? It's like a little smudge up here. Oh yeah. I need something. Uh, I need you, right? something. I know all kinds of clues. I need something. Oh, that's not what I need. Oh. White powder? Maybe you need the... I need something. Fingerprints? Oh. Show it the picture of the I lady and see something. if it goes, oh, God. 
Now, what do you think of this, Smudge? I need something. I need something like this lady. I need Any something. help? <laughs> <laughs> the trace of ah. powder is located at one meter sixty-five from the surface. Tape measure makes the makes the case. Okay. So you. Ha that's a quite tall person. Uh, yeah, if that's where he was shooting from, extremely tall. <laughs> yeah. Okay, is it gonna add it to our clues here? Unless they were shooting like up into the air. Wait, what's the, what is the actual measurement he gives you? The measurement? 1.65 meters. Okay, now does anyone know how to convert that into feet? <laughs> Hold on, don't worry about it. Alexa. Don't worry about it. Convert 1.65 okay. meters into feet. 1.65 meters is about 5 feet 5 inches. I forgot that it's right out to my headphones, so you can't hear, but it's 5 feet 5 inches. <laughs> oh, okay. So that's my height, but I would have to be shooting it like above my head. Wait a minute, where were you when Lord Bromsby was killed? <laughs> no. Oh, that's right. The, the stream probably heard it, but you didn't. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's funny. <laughs> oh, man, you guys are having secret cool messages about me. Alexa, isn't it true that Ashley's a loser? <laughs> you better listen for an answer. <laughs> it, won't, it has no comment on that. <laughs> Ask Alexa if Frogwares is currently in litigation. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, we've made some progress. We did. Maybe someone hid in the suit of armor and did it. I like that. And was like, eh, 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 eh. <laughs> had to like slowly get to shoot someone. <laughs> Why don't they take it off to shoot? <laughs> ridiculous. Then they wouldn't be in disguise, Ryan. Yeah, that is true. Okay. How tall are you? Can you go around asking everyone else all there? Get your drink. Young man. The person lying on the floor is the dead guy. He's still there. Thank Stop. you for this information, sir. Who do you think is lying on the floor? There's a the Sherlock Holmes kid. <laughs> a really crazy-eyed doctor looking over him. It is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. Hmm. Tell him to get back to work. Can we get up on that podium? It feels like we didn't quite investigate the body, and that feels like there would be some kind of clues there. Right, although I don't think so. Slower. Walk slower. Uh huh. Heel toe, Sherlock. Heel toe. Should be, should be some way to run in this game. Okay. Uh oh. Can I like click? Wait. This is, is yeah, this out or is this up? No. Can you turn? Oh yeah. Can you maybe go up the other way where we can see the stairs better? I don't think so. But let's try again. I don't see like an. Because we'd have to like push that guy over. What if you knock the vase over to distract everyone and then jump up? Mm. <laughs> yeah. That, I do think that bowl looks like dog biscuits. Yeah. Uh, it's called biscotti, Ash. It's French. We're all about French. Oh, things. I'm so sorry. I think biscotti is Italian. It's French. <laughs> oh no, I believe him. He has a book called How to Speak French. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, okay, so the game is telling us we still have more to do because we can't go outside to visit Watson. We could ask about the hair. I feel like I never know exactly when to use things on people. Yeah, that's the part we... Thank you. I feel like... Give me some time to recover my senses. Wait, where did this powder come from? Oh, is this from the gunpowder, like, on the actual... I think so. Okay. Yeah, it's mussy. Yeah. Yes, that Fr that's yeah. French, that waiter speaking. And no, he's not French. He's turn of the century British. <laughs> so either we need to pick something up 
Is there There's any need to discover? Thank you very much. I am at now, your disposal. We have had a situation where talking to somebody again. <laughs> Thank you. Give me some give us a different to option. Yeah. So maybe we should make the rounds, you know? Okay. Make the rounds. Look on the floor, check the ceiling, see if there's any rags. Check the ceiling over here. I gotta say, this is just a much more enjoyable scene to look at. Yes. Like, I feel like in the other game, every room you went into was, like, a little nauseating to me. Yes. <laughs> but this, this I could just pleasantly walk around. I sort of feel like I'm in, like, a home tour. Like, one of those oh, museums sure. that was, like, someone's estate <laughs> that they've turned into a museum. Like, now, the Frick or something. When or... you walked into one of those and you realized that this person's <laughs> home was functionally a museum. <laughs> How surprised yeah. would you be? <laughs> would you say, it's like a real museum? <laughs> I might say that, but I feel like I would also say, mm, this artifact isn't ancient, or whatever he said, and he was <laughs> mad that bull. not everything was. This is bullshit. Watson, get in here. <laughs> okay. Also, they said they're having French food, and I feel like a, a suckling pig is not French food. This is the servant's meal. It's a whole separate meal in here. No, this is the... No, oh, is yeah, it? maybe. Maybe it's like a birthday party and that's the kids' table. Well, it's instead of the kids' table. Any more questions? Thank you, Mary. No. Not to worry, sir. Okay. Top of the morning to ya. I did, I did, I did. <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, here's a lot of chairs. Chair city in here. It's a chair topia in here. It's a cornucopia of chairs. It's a cornucopia of chairs at Menards. So we know that some of the powder came from this table, which seems to be face powder. We now have an impossible amount of powder. <laughs> yeah. Blakey ash. Some of it's gun Small powder. box with white powder. White powder. White powder. Black powder. <laughs> okay. Is this going to be a tile game where we have to put in the white powders and the black powders? <laughs> I need more squares. Can you stand on a chair? Oh, God, don't ever make me stand <laughs> on a chair. <laughs> Can I, like, um... Get done looking at this? Cocaine and gun dust. It's my autobiography. Yeah, at, at least one of them needs to be cocaine, just for all of us. A textbook to study French. He's kind of delighted by it. Mm-hmm. Maybe he was thinking of learning. I was thinking. Or maybe learning. he just appreciates people's, you know, bettering their education. Expanding themselves a little bit. If you had to learn a language, what would you choose? A second language. I mean, I know you do. You speak English fine, but if you had to do uh, learn another language. Wow, well, it's a little bit <laughs> rough. Um. <laughs> Oh. Is this just the door? Or the That's light? No, maybe it's just the door. Um, well, I, I would probably learn Spanish because, you know, it's one of the more prevalent second languages in the States. You uh, took quite a bit of Spanish in school, didn't you? I did. I don't feel like I retained very much. Even at the time, I knew I wasn't. Although a friend of mine is doing Duolingo to learn Spanish, and he will like occasionally be like, oh, look at this. It's blah, blah, blah. And I'm surprised at how much I am able to go, oh, that's he, you're looking for the garage or whatever, you know? Um, uh -huh. I don't think I would be able to speak it or, or write it, but I was able to like loosely understand it, you know? Read enough of it? Yeah. But no, but I I'm definitely not. I wouldn't be able to use it really, but um, probably that or um, oh 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 look at these tracks. I need <gasps> something. Okay, to be fair, we should have seen that. Yeah. Now that I look, now that I see it, it's there. This isn't a rag situation. Hey, game, listen, we've come at you a lot before. <laughs> this is this one's on us. And you know what? Thank you for having a hard clue. I need. Thank some. you for being a friend. I need something. Oh. Hey, it is a size seven. Are we going to measure their gait? Oh, no. Size seven. Is that a UK size seven it's or it's a, a Nike, Euro size Nike seven? Air Jordan. Can you tell? 
It also looks like the person just like two foot hopped the whole way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> this is interesting though because. And they like. Yeah. The tracks, what's up to have there? Yeah, occlude this thing like this was moved later. Yeah. And we know that the ash does not from that cigar. Right. Can you pick up the cigar in that tall stand? No. No. Hmm. Let's see where this oh, wait, goes. is there something on the ground in front of the chair? I'm sorry. I know you can't see when I point. Oh, no, I don't think it was because I think it's gone now. Okay. Maybe we didn't follow these tracks enough. Okay, so did, this, did they go oh. into the bathroom? Looks like. Yeah. Okay, interesting. So they went to the bathroom to trim their mustache. To trim their mustache. Came out a whole new man. So our, our suspect doesn't have a mustache. Aha! It's sweet knees. Look, what's this? Look, what's this? But those are mustache scissors. You couldn't get rid of a full mustache that way, could you? Not easily. Red greasy hair. Oh. It's a pair of mustache wow. scissors. I didn't see the hair. I was trying to it's measure the scissors. It's a pair of mustache. Red greasy oh, hair. Look at that chunk of hair. We have picked up so much hair and powder, and we just are carrying it around in our pocket, <laughs> and I can't tell you how much I don't like it. <laughs> it's a pair of mustache scissors. Okay, well. Red greasy hair. Yeah, right. and can you put Sherlock in time, time out for a bit? Just make yeah. him stare in the corner. Hold on, let's go find a good corner. Think about think about what you've done. Sherlock, you should have seen those prints earlier. Yeah, Sherlock. Yeah, you stay there. Now, I'm going to learn how to Meanie speak French. isn't a bad word, but you shouldn't have called your brother that because <laughs> name calling's unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right, all right, fine. You can learn French with me. I wish Watson would like poke up at the window and be like, "How are you doing, in there, Sherlock?" <laughs> Get out he's from he's sort of he's sort of from Maine in my version. It's like he's sort of a, a character in Murder She Wrote. Your your version of uh, Watson is just Tom Bosley from Murder <laughs> She Wrote. Yeah, a hundred percent. Oh, what a dream! It's me, Watson. Yeah, I so I, there are oh, a lot of footprints here oh, too that I didn't even notice. Now I'm seeing tracks. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I know that- Do we know what the track- Oh, and they aren't in the kitchen. No. So although... where do they originate from? The kitchen may just not be, uh, may not pick up the tracks it as well, you know? It is not the know? time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. We know that- Oh, they come They come in from outside. The tracks come in from outside. Oh, yeah. Yes, you're right. But this is a, there's yeah. a lot of tracks here, though. Like, this could just be the normal house staff. Like, they, it came down to, like, one track when we were, when we were in the actual bathroom area. Squirrel, you know I have to ask what kind of pie you're eating because I need to know. The best thing you could ever say is I spaced out because I was eating some pie. <laughs> God, I'd love to space out with some pie right now. That treat, sounds amazing. I'm going to treat myself with some neon worms. Ah, oh, I didn't bring any snacks this time. Last time I had good and plenties. That's because you always have the best snacks, and so I got jealous and bought some snacks. I need to get snacks soon. Oh, I shouldn't have opened these. Mm. I love them. <gasps> I'm so jealous. Ryan, you have all the ingredients to make mud pie. You could make dirt pie. No, I need with cool Oreos it. and gummy worms. I need yeah, cool it, you need you need pudding, yeah. Okay. Apple pie, yum. Oh, and ice cream. Oh, oh squirrel, you're killing it. A la mode. Is that? Think that's gonna catch on? Thank you for yeah. your help. My pleasure, sir. I look, this guy has red hair, right? I'm trying to talk about the red hairs. I feel like we're missing something like more oh, obvious. Though. Can I, I be useful to you? I registered them as sort of Thank you brown for your hair, help. but you're right. It well, was not a problem. No, you're right. This they are. It's more brown, but I was like, they don't have like gray or black hair. You know? Yeah, you're right. This guy's clearly the murderer. Is there something else, sir? I mean, right. if it's Crispin Glover, he or is. Leave. Good evening, sir. So it's Adrian Brody. Mind. He's just an anti-hero. Well, 
So the footprints came from outside. Okay. I mean, there were a lot of footprints the... there, which I feel like they weren't yeah. all from the murderer, but yeah, they, there definitely were some tracked in from outside. And then they went to the bathroom. What more questions? Trimmed a mustache and came back. Well, thank you very much. Can you much. measure everyone's shoes? It is shoes? nothing, dear fellow. What more questions? Oh, cool. We oh. are talking about French because there's a French character well, in this thank mystery, you very much. but it is nothing, we're suspicious he fellow. might not really be French. Right, because there's a book, there on a learning book about French. learning French. Okay. So we still can't go outside, so there's something to explore. Right. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Definitely witness protection program. Fake Train French. and ship tickets from Geneva to London. Is there any news, Mr. Holmes? Thank you very much. We haven't had I to build any disposal. contraptions yet. Which Is there I'm any news, of. Mr. Holmes? We haven't, like, spent a lot of time trying to combine much. things. Mostly I because am at your disposal. When a game is, like, it working pretty have... well, like, I don't want to, like, do things unless we think it's an actual, like, idea. I don't want to, like, try everything on everything, you know? Yeah, well, also, it does, just doesn't seem like a mechanic of the game. Or are you getting an icon that suggests that you can combine things? Uh, from reading the manual, it, they made sure to say it, that sometimes you can. Oh, okay. Now, and I actually, so if you notice this, if I mouse, well, sometimes, look, sometimes I get this hand, sometimes I get this hand. Yeah. I don't know if that means yeah. anything. But I don't know what I would combine right now. I wonder if I can magnify glass stuff in the inventory. Oh, try it. And the answer was no. <laughs> and they never solved the mystery. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I feel like we're real close to finishing this area. Yeah. Open your little book again and see if we can find any clues. Okay, here's the main clues we have. In the ballroom, the handle of the door leading to the kitchen corridor has been twisted down. We could go back and like magnifying glass that. Okay. In the corridor to the kitchen, there's... there is the smell of gunpowder. Okay. In the corridor to the kitchen, a large black cloth found behind the statue. Considering its size, it could have hidden someone in that nook. Okay. In the kitchen near the dustbin, someone has lost an interesting button from an artillery uniform. However, the cannons are drawn instead of carved. Thus, it comes from a fake costume. Okay. In the corridor to the kitchen, there is a trace of sauce on the handle of the door to the corridor to the stairs. So we have found sauce so on two the... separate doors leading out to where Mary's cleaning. Okay. On both doors. Yes, although I think maybe it stops before the bathroom, so maybe they could have gotten through that. I don't know. Okay. In the corridor to the stairs, Miss Lavinia's handbag found on the floor. In it were train and boat tickets from Geneva to London, Miss Lavinia's passport, and a right revolver of small caliber. Which is the kind of gun that the colonel said was used, probably, but that's based on his hearing, which we now know is bad. Uh-huh. In the ladies' room, traces of a round object preserved in white powder, which probably was the thing we picked up, right? Like the... the oh, white... it's interesting that they called that the ladies' room. Okay, mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Powder room, I don't know. In the corridor to the stairs, there's a trace of sauce in the handle of the door to the stairs. So I guess it does go all the way to the stairs. Okay. In the staircase room, it seems that the sauce found on the rags 
here matches what was matches what was found on the door handles. I don't remember rags. In the historic in the staircase room, the sauce found on the rags matches what was found on the door handles. No <laughs> idea. Do we have rags? I forgot. Oh. Okay. In the staircase room, blue tablecloths found in a drawer. They are shorter than the white ones found in the ballroom. Okay. In the corridor to the kitchen, powdery residue found on the door frame leading to the ballroom at a height of 1.65 meters. That's like the gunpowder. Mm -hmm. In the smoking room, or wet... Or it could be head powder. <laughs> like someone tried to dye their hair or something with powder. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. okay, Ash. It's probably head powder. <laughs> Did you think of that, though? Could it be head powder? I'm just going to write that down here. There we uh -huh. go. Um, in the smoking room, wet, ashy footprints from size 7 shoes. I wonder if... So that's this flaky ash we found. Yeah. Will you go back to the map and show me where the sauce doors are? <laughs> show me where the sauce doors. Um, we lost the I map. No, I... How? Well, I think it's because we can't go outside anymore, but I'll show you where we're there, though. We should go back that way anyway. Yeah, I needed an overhead because my brain can't put these rooms together in the right way. Okay. So this is the staircase Sauce room. Sauce door? The other side yeah. of this door, right, is a sauce door. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So that's a sauce door. And then uh -huh. this is what? The study? Bathroom? It's like the ladies' room. Yeah. No sauce door. No sauce door on these handles. Not that we've been told. This is the, the exterior. Okay, no sauce door. And then... It's weird how loud that is when I can't do anything with it. Yeah. This is a sauce door shoot it. here, too. And that's the kitchen. Uh, it leads into the kitchen corridor, yeah. This What's is... the kitchen corridor? I'll show you. What the suit of armor is. So this is where all those, the footprints were, right? Leading mm -hmm. to the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. then mm -hmm. this is a sauce door. Here's the kitchen corridor. Okay. And this is the kitchen. Yeah, I mean, you're right. And it Nothing probably it has to start as the kitchen yeah. if there's sauce, right? Yeah. Okay, and that makes sense. So they went from the kitchen to the ballroom. Oh, and look at some. Look at all this sauce yeah. hanging out. Can you man? Yeah, can you pick up some of that? What over here? Nothing of any interest here. Yeah. No. Okay, but Nothing this is starting to here. pull things together. So there's the footprints. So someone was in the kitchen. This is diabolically heavy. That thing was opened at some point for sure. Right. Nothing of any they, interest. They got there. sauce in their hands. Maybe they were sneaking a, che a cheeky, you know, cheeky dinner. Cheeky dinner. So there's sauce on... Wait. They would have had to be going into the kitchen with sauce because there's not... Is there sauce on that side of the door or the other side of the door? I don't think there's sauce on this door at all. Maybe, I forget if he said. The first sauce store that he mentioned, I think, is here. Uh-huh, and then there's sauce on the Handsome door that armor. leads from into the ballroom. Handsome armor. Right. Handsome armor. Handsome armor. Handsome okay. armor. Okay, so there's mysterious sauce. Footprints that lead to the bathroom where there's greasy hair and mustache uh, scissors. Right. I appreciate that I feel like we're actually gathering real clues. I think all this will actually be useful for the quiz and figuring shit out too. Like it's... Yeah, I want to get to our first quiz. Yeah. 
But if we must be missing something if we can't leave yet. So there's something else we need to pick up, which is the question of the of the game. Is always what have we not picked up? Right. I'd look at that manual again to see if I can figure out where they were talking about that thing. But also I don't want to cheat. I bet it was that I bet it was that black cloth that you found by the armor. It's possible. Blue tablecloths, yet they are shorter than the white ones used in the ballroom. Maybe we have to find something on the floor in the ballroom. Blue tablecloths, yet they are shorter than the white ones used in the ballroom. Or we need to find something to connect these rooms better. I'm trying to think of the kind of clue we need to find based on the clues we already have. Right. She's like that. What is she cleaning up, by the way? Someone went to foul or something, she said? Yeah, we can ask again. Any more questions? What's happened here on this carpet? An idiot from Hartford's turned over the foul. That's for Hartford. Suppose Hartford. Hartford. passed by without even taking notice. It did seem his mind was elsewhere these days. Of course, it was probably because of Miss Lavinia's homecoming. So I assume by the foul, she actually means like the bird, like the food. And like, oh, I see. And Hartford's was the catering company. So it makes sense. I see. Is that Thank the you, sauce Mary. then they Not had on their worry, hands? Sir. Possible. Maybe they went the other way with the sauce. Right? So they're going into the kitchen to like clean up? It's possible. It said foul with a W. So I think it is the bird. Oh, it did? I wasn't paying attention. Oh man, I'm sad you don't have that map again because I really needed a top view. It's like basically all these corridors are running on the left side of the map. And like the yeah. kitchen's on like the right, there's a couple like studies and stuff. And then it leads up to the dining room at the top, which is behind us. And then the mm -hmm. entire right side of the map is mostly this weird area, this dining hall with this eight shaped table. Mm hmm. Yeah, no, I know what you mean. And I thought it could be a weird cockney euphemism as well. This view is weird if we can't do anything in it or pick anything up. I think we may have it. Is there's. Point. Oh. Never mind. Huh. possibly need we definitely talked to everyone and it seems like all those conversations are done yeah i could try to i mean un unless we find something else and it doesn't seem like we can apply anything to Young people man. as like a mechanics of the game no the it, 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 it did work once because i showed her sir. the gun colonel to you you know what i mean so that is something that can happen can sometimes I be useful to you Thank you for your help. It was not a problem. But it's hard to tell when I can do that. Hmm. Sir? Thank you for your help. My pleasure, sir. Well, 
What do we have in our pocket again? Just stand in that corner and think about what we have in our pocket. So we have the magnifying glass. Test tube, and which... And we have a test... I'm not sure anything's actually inside. Be... Yeah. Is we that... just use it to pick things up. Yeah. Tape measure, black sheet. I'm so used to the other Sherlock Holmes game where you couldn't see what something was until you picked it up and put it down. But I keep doing yeah. this. Black sheet, copy of uniform black button. Okay, yeah, we know that's a fake. Flaky ass. So we could... Yeah. Uh-huh. Go on, sorry. I'm seeing of, like, things that would possibly match to people. So we could show that button to any of the people in uniform and see if they recognize it. I've tried it. I The only one I don't remember if I yeah. tried it on was Major Lockhart. Let's go talk to him again. Is this, uh, is this the one that was bent? Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. I think it was. It seems to be animated bent. Please, sir, leave me to my sherry. I've already told you everything I know. Me and a sherry. Is his wife the lady that's outside? No. Uh, his wife fainted and yeah. fainted off camera. Yeah, no, the lady that's outside is sad because somebody didn't show up. Yeah. Did we try showing the kitchen guy anything? I don't know. Uh, oops, that wrong way. We could, uh, we may not have. Is that your heater? I'm just trying to think of things, things to do. Yeah, can you hear it? I love that. <laughs> I can only hear it when it pops on. It's weird that mm -hmm. this, this ticking seems like it wants us to pay attention to something. Yeah. Uh, shoot it? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Show oh. it the greasy hair. <laughs> Excuse me, Clock. What do you think of this red greasy hair? Ugh. <laughs> maybe it's a passport. I mean, maybe it's a clock, but it also identifies false passports. <laughs> That's convenient to have because sometimes in your home. <laughs> yeah. Can you see what time it is on the clock? Like maybe it stopped when the murder happened? I couldn't get a close up view of it. And I don't see. I can't tell what's on the face of the clock. It doesn't seem like... It feels like we should be able to... Maybe we have to prop... Maybe we have to prop that uh, door open on the on the well. I can see that until I can he, investigate he it better. Because he saying how heavy it is. Yeah. That's smart. I, I like bet, that. I think there's something down there. Okay. I love that. Well, I should click on this. Hello, yes. sir. I will let you get back to your work. All right. Uh, Good night, sir. What might we want to show this guy? Are you a... Yes. This, sorry, do you like this? I will let you get back or... to your work. All right. Done. Good night, sir. Yes. Or does he know the woman? I will let you get back to your... All right. Yes. No, he wasn't lecherous enough to know that woman. Hair? I will... All... Creepy hair? Yes. I... Ah. Uh, okay. What would we, would we prop this up with, though, I wonder? The stool? I mean, I can't click on anything around this here, This is really. diabolically heavy. Hmm. Like, I, I have I have a um, hand icon here, but it doesn't... He says there's nothing there. Nothing of any interest here. Nothing hmm. of any interest here. Nothing of any interest here. Which is a little weird. Uh, some kind of stick or... Nothing of any interest here. Fire poker. Or... This is diabolically heavy. How else would you prop something open? Yeah, those all sound good. Um, if there was like a rope or something, I could like tie it to the wall. Tie it? <laughs> 
This is diabolically heavy. Uh, weren't we able to, like, go... This way? What did we find over here? Anything? Yeah. Nothing of any interest here. Let's find something here. Nothing of any interest here. Remember here. that thing where you could kneel Nothing down? Maybe we're missing here. something on the floor. Um... Usually, it's a magnifying glass thing, and he says that he needs something, but I can try it more. Nothing of any interest here. What about some of the hanging pots and pans? Did you try any of those? Mm, yeah. Hmm. I don't know what else to do in here. Nothing of any interest. Yeah. Nothing of any interest. Yeah. I think we need to like. I'm disappointed that he's not wearing his like cape and hat. Oh really? I like a casual I know that he... homes. Yeah, I know. I know that he's like you know not in his outerwear. Yeah. But he just doesn't feel quite Sherlocky enough to me. He should at least be in tweed or something. I guess I get that. I mean, he's got like the the vest. Like I like the look personally. Mhm. Mm but I see what you're saying. Handsome armor. All right. We know you love the armor. If that armor goes missing, then we know Handsome who did it. Handsome armor. <laughs> so this mystery is called the case of the what? Uh, the secret of the silver earring. Okay, maybe we need to find an earring <laughs> maybe somewhere. Maybe we should find a silver earring. <laughs> wanna... It is not the time to join, Watson. I have not examined everything. What about that chair? Is there something by that chair? There was. We found the, some black hair here. Oh, I meant by the chair, not by the oh, uh, mirror. Uh... Yeah. What about an umbrella? Can you pull an umbrella? No. Pretty secret so can far. You, can, can you oh, 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 steal oh, oh, the? Oh, oh, oh. What's that? I think it's a piece of cloth on a chair. <gasps> How are we Look, supposed to find that first? This? I asked myself, what was Watson doing while I was searching the house? He was supposed to prevent people from leaving by the back entrance. Okay, right. that's, that's what we were missing. Holmes, the gate. I know Watson, but it is I of know. no real consequence. To question all these people would be a tiresome activity and would be of no value to it this inquiry. Be fun gameplay. Such ordinary inquiries are best <laughs> left to the police. They have their purposes. As you like, Holmes. Now, Watson, to put your mind at rest, I can see that you have done well in my absence by placing the formidable coachman at the gate. I also imagine you have already spoken with Lamb. Miss Lambert. He has a name. Yes, and some other people too. Lambert and Lamb. Hold your report until I return to Baker Street. Hold your shit, Meanwhile, Watson. Be a good man and look to the gate. I must be informed the moment any official arrives. As always, I depend on your able assistance, Watson. I'll look at the gate then. Yeah. I hope we see him walk all the way to the gate, or else I won't believe it happened. Keep going. Don't cut. Uh huh. Don't you dare cut away. Uh huh. Uh, no, I'm outside. Um, in in the game's sort of defense and also mine, I saw that before from a different view, and I swear I tried my best to click on it. I saw that there was some like oh I didn't. I thought it was like a weird just just a weird artifact. It was so small. Um, yeah. But I guess I couldn't pick it up from that it. view. Oh. Yeah. Interesting. Okay. Well. Does the inventory tell you what it is? Uh. Piece of dirty white clothes. Okay. Okay. Uh, I guess we're outside now. Santa Fe! <laughs> no, mommy. Oh, there's going to be some clue. There's going to be some clue hidden in all this gravel that we can not see. I know. Can we get in any of the carriages? Good job, Watson. You're doing great. You're doing Keep great. watching. I'm going to do my thing. Oh, there's a guy over there. Oh, that's the guy. Oh, he's literally watching the door. He's, he's very watching beautiful. The door. Uh, Keep watching. Oh, I don't think I can talk to him. 
Let's walk past him. Not interested. Turn your back on him. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> you want to say something to me? <laughs> May I wear your hat? I need something. I need a good Oh, you need something. Show him the picture. Okay. Pick this up first. Or look at it. Oh, I see. I thought that's what he was asking. Love that sound effect. Yeah, we got a good music cue. I didn't C notice it before. A cigarette but chur. Beginning of the brand of the cigarette. Oh, okay. I need something. Okay, I gotta eat it. look even more closely. I need something. Oh, does this sound like a, a shoe test print? tube? I need, need a something. test tube. I, gotta, I think it's a measuring oh. a shoe print. It is a size yeah. seven. It's a size seven, just like those okay. footprints. Okay. So they did come from outside. Uh, yeah, or they left this way. I can't quite tell. I can't but see this wouldn't... well enough to. What? But they wouldn't pick up mud. Well, that's from the. In I the there were so many footprints in the front hall though that it feels like. Well, no, you're right. Maybe all those footprints also were outside, originated from outside. I mean, yeah, logically you're probably right. Okay, is that it? I think so. No. Oh. Something's. I'm not doing this. Oh. I found a new guy. Holmes. <laughs> it's my twin Good brother, day, Holmes. Your haste deserves <laughs> comment. One could say that you were right to hurry here, as this case is one of great complexity and challenge. Do oh. not worry. I think that you will manage to get back to your mother before the dinner hour. In the name of devil, Holmes, you go too far. Do you spy on me now? How do you know I've been to my mother's? Dear Lestrade, mm. it is really quite We're going to get a labor deduction. My mind has been stimulated by the main course, which would be this unique case. However, I sometimes enjoy a light snack of the details which surround it. I kind of like Observe, he's, we are he's in this the middle level of, of the countryside, and you have some fresh yeah. yellow pollen, but only on your right sleeve. This implies a recent gift of flowers. You believe this guy? It is a gallant gesture, but surely a meeting with the fairer of our Mr. species would this would every time he walks up to Sherlock, Considering you know? the of your arrival, it must have been a bouquet of flowers you took to someone who lives in this area. I presume that you have family living nearby, and I would think only your mother would warrant such an attentive gesture. <laughs> Meanwhile, Watson is like, I'm just a normal mouth, human and, as well as and ask about nice things and remember where his family lives and that he this visits. Is consistent with a recent meal of a big piece of steak. Who would make a policeman swallow such a I feel like they used this hour, all of the pattern the textiles that they were going to use on Sherlock and just put them all the on the police officer. Away from her child. <laughs> well, yeah. Holmes, when you explain it like they that, didn't have any patterns left over to even make a coat for Watson. This was what about this Bromsby murder? A unique case, as I've already noted, but any supposition would be premature until we consider Dr. Watson's report as well as your own findings. Miss Lavinia has asked that the esteemed Dr. Watson and I give this case our full attention, though I doubt she is aware of all the implications of this case. <laughs> Lestrade, you can well, find the victim inside, and I recommend calling upon his solicitor, Mr. Horace Fowlett. Mrs. Hudson is cooking a roast tomorrow at noon. Mrs. Hudson. Why don't you be our guest and yes. we can share our discoveries? What do you think? Watson and I must take our leave as there's much to be done at Baker Street. Are you coming, Watson? Let us return to Baker Street. You stay there. <laughs> okay. Oh, I, I see. Now I have to find... We're at, we're at Sherrington Hall. I know. All right, here's Baker Street. Only two places I could have gone. Oh, he's got the hat, Ash. <gasps> um, Watson has his overcoat. Everything is well noted. Watson, bravo. bravo. All of these elements will be a great help to us. As for myself, I have already told you everything that I know, and I can tell you nothing more until I receive answers to the messages I have sent with Wiggins. Now I must return to my experiments to test my theory regarding the substance I found at the scene of the murder. Meanwhile, I suggest put a bunch of you look through the books in the bookcase. Information that you find there might prove very useful in resolving <laughs> the this disdain. Case. He's gonna put a bunch of powders and goo. 
<laughs> I have to check three books on the shelves. Oh, let's see. Uh, okay, first turn around. It's going to be the the one that's faced the wrong way, right? Is it the ones marked one, two, three? I can't tell what little icon you have right now. This is like a Dr. Watson version of the icon. It's like a piece, of, it's like a notepad. Oh, for its side of the pipe. got it. Got it. Um, what did we pick up? I thought we picked up a book, no? I don't think so. I heard a ba bump. Oh. So that was one, maybe, but you need two more? Maybe. Can I, can I get out of this view? Oop. Yeah, I heard like a, a rustling noise. Watson, do you like my Ken Burns Civil War documentary music? <laughs> Dearest Eulabel, the war <laughs> is hard. I had to pick up three books today. <laughs> uh, are they the three books? Uh, Ryan, I, I can't tell what's happening. I don't know. Did you either. already pick up a book? I thought the sound effect <laughs> said I did. Oh wait, do I look in here? How? How is this already so hard? Uh, I don't understand. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Because here we the go. The first puzzle we've gotten was I need three books, <laughs> and we couldn't figure it out. <laughs> Okay, oh on. no, are we getting worse at these games? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we got it. We got it. We picked them up. And we, they were just in uh, our okay. in our notes section. Okay. We can okay. categories of footprints by S. H. Holmes. We can deduce the height and mass. <laughs> Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> we had to go to the bookcase to pick up books written by Sherlock. <laughs> like he's right there. We couldn't just ask him what this footprint is. Oh, he doesn't man. have time to explain every little thing to us, Ashley. <laughs> I guess so. That's why he wrote the book. <laughs> we can deduce the height and mass of any individual through a simple examination of their footprints left upon the ground. This is possible even should oh, their stride boy. be unremarkable. The stride is often short. Or they're doing hops together. Yeah. Uh, great caution to avoid detection or immediately after they have committed a crime. This hypothesis corresponds to almost every case. There are some exceptions. False conclusions are possible when the person who left the footprints comes from a region of the world where, they, where the morphology in regard to the feet is unusual, like Chinese, yeah, foot binding. Okay. Foot binding. Thus, it's easy, easier to derive information about the author of a revolver shot if we know they had aimed with great care. The situation is ideal if the shooter was in an enclosed space. Under pressure, a portion of the powder normally adheres to the walls at the level of the shooter's eyes. Interesting. Okay. It's enough to add approximately 15 centimeters to the height of the powder marks to arrive at an approximation of the shooter's stature accurate to within one or two meters. So we can add that. Ask Alexa, ask Alexa how many inches 15 centimeters is, and then the chat will tell me. <laughs> Alexa, how many inches is 15 centimeters? 15 centimeters is about 5.91 inches. 5.91. Okay, so they're five. The answer to your calculation is 5.91. Thank you. Thanks, Alex. No problem. Okay. I'm happy to help. All right. That's enough. All right, stop <laughs> it. Uh, okay. After authorization, the this local... Uh, one or two centimeters, I think. Yeah. This uh, local... Yeah, that is... <laughs> okay. After authorization, this local herbist mixes with tobacco leaves in the manufacture of cigarettes primarily... Ah, the Chirapakwi Company. That, that explains our our cigar. Brazil. So, I see. So we're looking for someone who's recently been to Brazil. Yes. Invariably, you will also observe a small pile of flaky ash characteristic of this tobacco. So we... Oh, okay. So that's the ash we found in the study. Here is information which could be really helpful in our investigation. 
Watson just has like a positive vibe to him. I've always appreciated. Yeah. He's the Bingley, and Sherlock is definitely the Mr. Darcy. And Mr. Darcy is fun to read, but would be terrible in person. Like you want Mr. Bingley. Uh, I like piece of white you compared them to small box, less well-known literary powders, figures. And finally, the <laughs> excuse me, and I think Pride work. and Prejudice is equally well-known. To Sherlock Holmes, the most famous literary character of all time. All right. Just because Jane Austen's a woman. <laughs> she is. Oh, I'm taking this book back to the store. <laughs> Dear sirs. Just want to see if there's anything else I can do before I uh, go to my little table. Yeah. Can you get one of those spears from the top and duel Watson? Watson. Ah, ah. Oh, put on that hat. <laughs> I can't put on. I'm sorry, Ashley. Now it pairs. Oh. It, it's starting to pain me too that I can't put any hats on. It's just why would games give you so many hats and none to put on? Water, water everywhere, <laughs> and not a hat to drink. Okay. I need to analyze the evidence found at Sheringford Hall: a piece of white cloth, a small box, various powders, and finally the hair. Let's get to work. Okay. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. So can you pick up those bottles? Spirit. Spirit? Spirit, acid, acid. soap. I read soup. Solvent. Uh, soup. Okay. Got the burner. Ooh, turn it on. Ooh, okay. Water. Water. Now, okay, now this makes me very nervous because the practical person in me knows that if you mess it up, you ruin the evidence. Right. But I assume the game won't let us ruin the evidence. Is that fair? Let's say for the first time. It just, it just, I just realized we had not saved this entire time. Yeah, that's crazy. Okay. That's because the game hasn't crashed once. I know, which is nuts. Um, I need to analyze the evidence found at Sheringford Hall. A piece of white now, cloth, a small box, various powders, and finally the hair. Let's get to work. Okay. Now, I remember from look, glancing with... at the manual that it does actually tell you a little bit of how this stuff's supposed to work, but we could also just try shit. Well, let's start with the small box, because that's what he starts with. Small Let box. me study this more closely. I'll just dunk okay. it in water. Yeah. Oh, oh. Yeah. I think you put it under the magnifying glass. He told you to study it more closely. Are you not paying attention to Sherlock? Well, there's nothing to click on the magnifying glass. Oh, classic Sherlock. Okay, hold on. Um, can I bring acid over to the... Let me study this more closely. Hmm. Do I need like a... Like a place? Maybe you need to... Put the small box down, pick up a magnifying glass, and then hover over the small box. A box containing some white powder. Good thinking. Okay, so now I have a thousand different things called white powder. Let's examine it under the microscope. Okay, great. Just, uh, Maybe we have to put all the powders under there. Let's examine it under the microscope. What would be the reaction if I heated this powder? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, put that one over there. Burnt gunpowder. So it was gunpowder. Huh. Okay. I guess we proved our point there. Let's examine it. These powders are similar. I can see it from the grains. Oh. oh. Okay. Okay. What would be the reaction? So now we know they're all the same. This powder. It has no effect. Great! I love it. <laughs> Okay, so it's not gunpowder and it's not the same as the other powder. white powder. Okay. He, he's pretty much telling us everything to do, which is nice. Oh. Let's mix some oh. water with this powder. Okay. Uh, Maybe you need to pick up the 
Uh, no, I don't an know. Empty bottle or something? Or oh. the test tube? Oh. oh, test tube? Maybe? Yeah, good thinking. Let's mix some right, water let's... with this powder. It lets me put it back here. It has no effect. Let's mix some hmm. water with this powder. Hmm. Let's mix some water with this powder. Well, maybe I have to put like something in the water first. Okay. No. It didn't seem to actually do anything. Spirit? Spirit! We've got spirit. Yes, we do. We've got spirit. How about you? <laughs> oh, I went for spirit! <laughs> Show me no more! <laughs> Tell me these are things of shadows that may be. <laughs> uh, if I burn this cigarette. Let's examine a light feminine perfume. Let's examine it. A man's hair. Okay. Oh. So the red hair was feminine. Was a lady. The one we found on, by, the, by the mustache scissors. And the black hair was male, according to Sherlock. Male. It's weird the water's not working. Let's mix some water with this powder. I think I... Okay, I'm going to look at... I think I read something about this. Because I was reading the instructions, and one of the things it said was like... It, I forget what it was, but it was something about the... the um, there's something about this science part, and it may it was written in such a way that made me think at the time, like, boy, somebody had a problem with that, and they finally had to just put it in the manual. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh wait, is there a um, a glass over there next to the knife that we can't quite see because it's clear? Over Did here. You pick that up or something. Yeah. No, I, I think. Um. Maybe you put the water under the magnifying glass and then add the powder. Oh, I put or, it on the oh, burner. There it is. Let's mix some water with this powder, a glue or pasty substance like starch. Okay. Okay. To analyze the nature of these stains, I must first soak the cloth in a solution of soap and water. Soap and water. Okay, soap and water. Soup and water. Soup and water. See, it just switches what I'm doing. Put the soap here? So you have to, yeah, put it over there. Okay. Uh, cloth. To analyze the nature of these stains, I must first okay. soak the cloth in a solution of soap and water. I heard you. Wait, wait. Oh, do I have to turn this on to make a solution? Mm. No. Soap, water. To analyze the nature of these stains, I must first soak the cloth in a... Now, I shall ah. place this cloth in the solvent. Did you turn the burner on? Oh, now he said I'll place the cloth in the solvent. I feel like if you're going to do all this for me, Sherlock, you should just do it. Yeah. Okay. Now, I shall place it... The stains are sticky, but not very oily. My detergent okay. is working. <laughs> yeah. Yes, good. Uh, I must have hard Let's water. Let's examine it under the microscope. A very fine white cotton. It seems to me that we have gathered all of the key elements, Watson. However, before we retire, let's summarize our findings. The questions should be answered yes or no, Quiz. and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Okay, so excited. Okay. To answer a question, first choose yes or no by clicking on it. Then browse your testimonies, reports, and documents on the left page to find the one that contains the justification to the answer. Click your decided okay. answer to select it. Then click on the appropriate frame on the quiz page to place your answer. Once you've answered all the questions, close the notebook. You will then be informed if your replies are correct or if there was a mistake. If the latter occurs, open the notebook again to rectify your answers. Okay. Oh, okay. So we can like, if we if we want to go to see what people had said, we can switch over to notes. 
And then we go back to the quiz. Okay. Okay. It's an open book quiz. Yeah, which is lovely. Do we have an idea of the weapon used for the crime? Let's say we have an idea that it's that gun. Yeah. Well, because he said he heard it. Yeah, I mean, we know that guy is potentially an un, un, um, reliable witness, but he's the only one who specifically told us what the gun was, right? Yeah, we also found the gunpowder. Right, but I don't know if that gunpowder linked to a specific weapon. Okay, a right revolver, right? Well, it would be a gun, yeah. Well, a gun. I assume you meant something more. Yeah, I guess you're right. Okay, that was the one where he said the, the thing. Should we try that? Uh, will you go look at the other tabs and see what other options are? Yes. So we have all the um, all the the conversations. Um, in the ballroom, the, clues. The, the handle of the door leading to the kitchen. Right, right, right. Gunpowder, black cloth, dustbin. Oh, here we go. We have the right revolver we found in her bag. That could also be what they want. Yeah. You think so? No, I'm, uh, I'm just... I'm just flipping through. And then what's the next one? The ladies' room traces... The of next around. tab. Oh, no. Oh. Sorry, no, the next nope. tab. Uh, book about okay, fingerprints, are... ballistic science, study of tobacco. Got it, got it. And then the next one's the map. Yes. Okay, got it. Okay, back to the quiz. I'm starting to think that we should put in the handgun one here instead. Okay. But just because she had the handgun, yeah, I think you're right. I mean, I think you're right. Yeah. It, right? Should, it should be the handgun. Yeah. Uh, how do I undo this? We must. The questions should be answered yes or no, and justified by the evidence. Maybe go back to his thing and click it again. Go back to his character page, his character tab. Oh, hmm. Oh, that worked. Ah, oh, maybe it can only be one of the one. Maybe it can only be a person. Maybe, yeah. Uh, maybe clues don't count. Or okay. maybe, and they are color coded. I wonder if because it's blue, it needs to be a person. You're right. They are color coded, aren't they? I didn't even notice. I don't know that. if that. I mean, it's the, it's the first question, so I don't know if that's going to be true. No, but... look, red and green. Uh, okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. You're right. Okay. So I think that's the one, okay. right? I agree. Okay. Could the murder escape through the stairs going to the second floor? Uh, I want to say no because no. Mary would have seen, right? Yeah, okay. exactly right. Uh, where do we ask Mary here? Mary! Mary, don't She's you know? She's about to close up the library! <laughs> You're not going to like it, George. <laughs> uh, oh, strafty old house. Why do we even have kids? <laughs> What are you waiting for? Play! <laughs> oh, daddy! Um. What are you looking for now? Oh, here we go. Did you observe anyone pass this way after the shot was fired? Oh. No one has come this way, not from the moment I returned. Okay, okay so that's it. Okay. Uh, no, so the answer is no. Could the murder escape? No, okay. No. The ashes found in the smoking room are from English cigarettes, question mark? No. No. They're from- Well, who do you think we are? But I'm not some kind of monster. Study of We literally of wrote the book on this. <laughs> uh... It's gonna be that thing where it's like, oh, this isn't from this cigar. It was early on. It 
It was like one of the first things that they told us. I'm not sure it made a note at that. Oh, here we go. In the garden outside the service yeah. store, cigarette. Yeah, okay. Right? Yes. I was thinking of something else, but that is what the right one. Was the side door going to kitchen open after the shot? Is this going to be when the guy was like, I heard it open twice. Was he talking about that? The side door going to the kitchen. Is that from the outside? That side door? Uh, he's talking about the lid here. I assume it's- Can you go back to the question? Uh-huh. Was the side door going to the kitchen or going to kitchen open after the shot? Well, we have that uh, testimony from the guy in the top hat that says, like, I I locked that door. I locked the other door. This is the only door that's open. That gate is the only way in or out of here. I have already secured the other door to avoid them nose reports. If anyone tries to make a break through the door. Yeah. But I don't know what, quite what door they're asking us about. Oh, there's also that thing that says like, so, uh, lady, Mrs. Lambert told me to keep that door locked so the reporters wouldn't get in. Or something like that. When did we hear that? Oh, maybe that is the same, maybe that is the same quote I'm thinking of. Right, I remember you saying that. Oh wait, maybe, does Miss Lambert, is she the one who said it? I think it, I think Lamb was the one that said it. I was looking at Lamb's stuff there. Where's the Frenchie? <laughs> Sue thinks it's her. So Lamb says, my name's Lamb Governor, I'm Sir Bromsby's coachman, blah, blah, blah. Uh, uh, Watson is like, look sharp, Lamb. Sherlock Holmes and I oh, require that's it. assistance. I have, I have already secured the other door. Oh, yeah. See, that's after the shot that he secured the door, though, right? Yeah, so I think we're supposed to answer no. He only secured it after. Uh, I don't know. It, that gate is the only way in or out of here, Watson. I've already secured the other door on orders of Miss Lambert to avoid them noisy report nosy reporters. But that's I think that happened after the shot. I thought that was happening at the beginning of the party, because the whole party they were trying to keep reporters out. Eh, let's say no. But I don't I don't know for sure. Okay. Did Miss Lambert choose tablecloths and arrange tables? No. No. Okay, let's see. Um, because we have... The French guy did. Right. And the cook told us that. Miss Lambert dare not contradict him. Yep, we got that. Mm -hmm. And then I think Miss Lambert herself said something. Yeah. Yes. She's like, the French guy suggested it. Murderer's height, we know the murderer's height. Look about this ballistic science. Yep. And this gunpowder. Among the interrogated people, do any others than Colonel Patterson have bad eyesight? I wanna say there was something. Oh, can you check? You can't see the notes? Uh, no, I can see the notes. Oh. Oh, yeah, here we go. Here we go. Uh, Round Tree has bad eyesight, right? Uh-huh. Patterson and then Ingalls, who we didn't interrogate. Okay. So we put that there, and then we also have to put the thing about Miss Lambert saying what it, may, what it means. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, I think that's it. 
We must have made an error, Watson. Let's check our answers. We made an error, Watson. The question should okay, be answered but is yes he or tell no us? and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. I feel like the side door is the one that we have the least confidence in here. Yeah. What if we said yes? Yeah, just say yes. We must have... The question should be answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Okay, we do... Go back to... Let's flip through the servants again. The the notes here? Yeah. The dialogue? Yeah. So what did, yeah, what did, what did Scott say? So well, like all the servants, I was in the ballroom. <laughs> uh Mary's cleaning downstairs. She went to carpet the silly goose. And the coachman? No, we hit next. Lamb's the main gate. Ms. Lambert gave specific instructions to throw out any reporters and assure they do not re-enter the hall. However, it would not be good if he finds you have been asking questions here. Yeah, so I think he did. It's the same answer, but he was out there before the shots. Okay. Guarding it. I love it. So, no, it was not open? Yes, correct. We must have made an error. The question should be answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Oh, I think put in um, put in Lamb's testimony and say yes. We've already done it, but I'll do it again. Oh, I thought you had we said must no. Have okay, yeah. The question we, should I be tried answered both. yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Okay. Looking for anybody's... Can you control F door? I know. Um. I fortunately suffered no harm. But my beautiful costume. <laughs> no, that was the guy that was like, oh, I offered no harm, but my costume. Yeah, that's right. Um, there was a lot of a lot of the like guys in suits talking about the arrangement of the room. I'm looking for, for some of that. Um. Oh, it's going to be the testimony of the young officer when he was like, I, the door opened and I saw... Right, that's what I was looking. Okay, when one of the doors opened, I did see a person hidden from others' view. A beautiful long lady stood just at the threshold. I think that's it. And I think we're misunderstanding when they say the side door to the kitchen. But he was in the reception hall. I don't think you can... See... Well, oh, you think that was what that means? Yeah. The side... The door... The... Door oh. on the side of the of the ballroom that eventually leads to the kitchen. Okay, let's try that. We must have made an error. The question should be answered oh. yes or no and justified by the evidence. Oh, put no, it wasn't open. Oh, we it's after the shot. The this whole time I'm thinking be before yes the shot. No, and justified by the evidence or testimony received. All right, hold on. Hmm. I mean, he seems to be saying if you- That I was standing just there. Oh wait, we go back. I guess I see the door because there's so few people in front of me. That's the door that leads to the kitchen if he's talking about the one to his left. From, that, yeah. from the bar, right? So, mm -hmm. um, this is like the SATs. Uh, it is. So he was saying. What did you do right after the shot was fired? I left the room. Is only listening to make most of the time. I was near the bar speaking with the crowd. Everybody started applauding and turned to the stage. I turned to look through the crowd. One of the doors opened. After the shot. Uh, 
How do you know it was... We must have made... The questions should be answered yes or no and justified well, by this. the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Yeah, it's going to be someone else. Well, you know what? I was talking a lot through Grimble. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, I was behind Sir Bronsby. I'm sorry, but I sure it's an interesting with Vincent. It's something nothing to do with it. Sad end. Feature of the business. Nothing. Made a new will. What does Lavinia Bromsby say? Uh, this was the second time we talked to her. I think. No, it wasn't the first. Uh, I think I only have one for her for some reason. It'd be before. Oh, uh, yeah. This also might not be what we're wrong about. What does uh, Carl say again? The chef, yeah. I mean, he was hurt to start it. He was in the kitchen. But he does say that he heard a noise. I was in the cellar and I heard the lid closing a little before that when you said mm. was the shot. I heard it again right after. We know it wasn't Mary, I don't think, because she was in the carpet, but being the carpet. Mm hmm. Okay. Let's go. Is there anything else we could be wrong on here? So. Weapon used for the crime, we could be wrong, but I don't think anybody else talked about the weapon except him, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, that's right. Could the murder through the stairs? No. Cigarettes. Mm-hmm. We go back to that one for a second. Okay, great. Mm-hmm. Wait, the ashes found in the smoking room are from English cigarettes. Uh, yeah, this, yeah, that's right. I think it's right. Well, uh, well, that clue though is talking about what's outside. Right, but it, it, I think it's the same cigarette. Um, uh, we could see if something better here. There's a clue that says like, oh, this ash is not from the cigar that it's sitting in. I remember it being told that, but I don't remember it being one of the clues that was saved here. Oh, I see. Let me double check. We have in so the- So far, do you like- Well, that's wouldn't be right. In the smoking room, wet, ashy footprints. Doesn't they do with the cigarette though? Or something to do with the kind of cigarette. Mm -mm. Uh, what'd you say? So far, do you like this deduction game better or worse than Perot's version? I kind of like it better because it's harder. You know? Yeah. I think we're going to have to really earn it. You yeah. You know what I mean? What about you? Yeah, I think that the Perot one was too, like, it was either too simplistic and we, it was like, or it, the logic was always odd to me. Well, that's also true, right. This feels like I know what they are trying to get us to say. I mean, except for this door one. Right. That's the only one I think we could have gotten wrong here. Was the side door going to the kitchen? I don't even know exactly what he means by that. Because it could be leading from the ballroom to the hall and then the kitchen. Or it could be mean the kitchen door in the hallway. I'm gonna say yes. Oh, it's gonna. And put in. Oh, but we have. Carl. 
Okay. We must have made an e The question should be answered yes or no. Maybe it's something about the, the, the gunpowder. Oh no, because you have to put in a person during the investigation. It has to be a person. Uh, okay. Let's look here. Oh wait, maybe it's this first guy we talked to then forgot about because didn't he say that she was in the doorway? I jumped up, I looked at the direction of the shot. There I saw that little flirt, Bromsby, placing something in her handbag. She rushed to the stage. I must say, it's an inheritance. Seems okay. Uh, partners with the old scoundrel. Well, he doesn't really say the door. Ha 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 ha. Ha ha ha. What does Scott say? The question should be answered yes or no and justified by the uh, evidence or testimony he the received ballroom. during the investigation. I don't think. I think he says he sees anything here. Lambs the mid-gate. Does Lambert gave specific instructions to throw out any reporters and ensure they do not re-enter the hall? It would not be good if he finds you've been asking questions. We must. The question should be answered yes. We must. The question should be answered mm. yes or no. Chat. What do you think? I know this is riveting content. Watching us slowly read a book. <laughs> I'm Herman Grimble. Okay. Time to rally. Start at the beginning of the people. I just, I was. Now I'm here. Yeah, but can you go, oh, but can you go back so we can do it together? Okay, yes. The doctor. Okay, doctor. Definitely said nothing. Grant Sweetney. He says Australia. he sees her. We tried both of these. We must have made I'm the question that should be answered. Else. We must. The question should be answered yes or no, but I don't know what it and would justified be. by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Were you at the moment the tragedy occurred? I was in the ballroom. I think this guy's nothing, right? Mm hmm. Wouldn't talk to us. This guy wasn't there. Mm hmm. Once to empty my bucket before the shooting. Mm hmm. I wonder if it's this. If it's like. We must have made. The question should be answered yes or no. We must. The question should be answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Okay, Grimble. I was behind him when it happened. He doesn't say anything about the actual shots. Near the bar, speaking with Colonel Patterson, everybody stayed, started applauding and turning around toward the stage. I turned to look through the crowd. When one of the doors opened, I did see... It doesn't tell us how many we got wrong in, but we, this is the only one we can we can think of that we don't aren't sure about, but we may have gotten something wrong we just don't realize. And we assume he's talking about Lavinia and not about the woman in the picture that we don't know who that is yet. I assume. I have no clue who that is. Well, yeah, because he says, are you sure it was Miss Bromsby? He says, yes. Hmm.
We must. The questions should be answered yes. We must. The questions should be. We must. The questions should be answered. We must. The questions should be answered yes or no mm. and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. So I said it's too poor. Maybe we're supposed to believe him about his hearing, although that list says we shouldn't. Yeah, but I just reread that. He doesn't even say anything about the door. He says his eyesight's too bad to see anything. He says he hears, um, he hears Brahms be enter. He doesn't yeah. say anything about the door being open. Whoever he is, the man who did this, is either a perfect shot or me left because old Brahms, we had no chance at all. that okay these people were all drunk Why did you open the gates so hastily? I'm so upset. It's all about the French guy, huh? Try Mrs. Lambert in question four and do yes or no and just see what happens. We must have the questions should be answered. We must have the questions should be answered mm. yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Okay, so go back to the other questions and see if there's any or if there are any that we doubt. Uh, first put well, I guess first put question four into who we yeah, is that who we're most confident with? That's who I think it is. I don't think Lamb is as good of a guy um and i think you would say yes okay to that. we That's must fine. the question should be okay. answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony okay. received during the investigation okay so we had colonel lambert's second time for this one because he says um he could hear it right revolver of a small caliber but we also weren't supposed to trust his hearing okay you're right so is there somebody else who says idea of the weapon used for the crime what about the doctor yeah he just says that it talks about there being a bullet i mean i don't think it's uh, i don't think it's gonna be we like must have, the question it's a should be bullet answered. like yes we know that no. part you know and justified by the yeah. evidence or testimony received during the investigation yeah these guys didn't talk about we uh what's his face did say something about what being about a great shot what about the guy must, that was like, I saw it, put, should be I saw her putting yes it in no, his pocket, and justified in her pocket by the after evidence the shot. or testimony received during the investigation? We must. Have, the question no. should be answered yes or no, and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. What about? Okay, follow me on this. What about Colonel Patterson's mm -hmm. second time? And no, because we can't trust him. Yeah, that's good. You didn't switch it though, yeah. We must have no. the question should be answered yes or no. Okay, but keep that there for a second. The and then or testimony let's keep going. received during the investigation. I just I ugh. Okay.
No, definitely not. Right? You're confident that? I'm confident. Let's make sure it's the okay, right great. conversation with Mary. Oh wait, maybe this is wrong. In the garden outside the service store, a cigarette butt with white flaky ashes. Yeah, go back to those options and see if there's something. I did look again. Let's look at that study of tobacco real quick. Is it, can I see? Flaky Ash. True mm -hmm. Property Company. No, I think that is right. So this that would work. There's nothing else about cigarettes here because I just looked. But our science experiment told us that they are of similar kind. Are we supposed to use that one, maybe? So we proved that the ashes outside were the ashes inside. Yes. But I don't know if that's one of the clues. Both of these things have been called fl this. This flaky ash is black and not white because it did say white, but yeah. But um, this was the ash we found. I don't remember where this ash came from though. All right, ash is found in the smoking room. The only clue from the smoking room I have here. Wet, ashy footprints. We could try that, but that doesn't have anything to do with the what kind of things they are. But that's where the cigarette was outside. Hmm. But these Leave have to. It for now and keep these going. have to connect because it's if it's what the chur means. Yeah. Leave it for now and keep going. Was the side door going to the kitchen open? Okay, we, we're working on that one. We have no idea. Did Miss Lambert choose tablecloths? No, because he was talking about how Frenchie chose them, and she was talking about how he arranged the tables. Yep. No. Murderous height. Okay, we have corridor kitchen with the thing. We have the ballistic science for the rest of it, right? Yeah. Oh, no, no, wait, wait, wait. Maybe this is it. Footprint. The book of footprints. Ah. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. No, it is the book of ballistic science. Add approximately 15 centimeters to the height of the powder marks to arrive at an approximation of the shooter's stature. No, that's right. Okay. Okay, did any other of Colonel Patterson have bad eyesight? Um... The guest list has the markings. Miss mm -hmm. Lambert says what the markings mean. The answer is yes, because one of the interrogated people was that guest who was crying. Let's Round tree. Check, mm -hmm. Round tree, yeah. Point. Okay, eyesight. Bad eyesight is the point. And the point is Miss Roundtree, mm -hmm. so yeah. Okay. And that's it. Was the side door going to the kitchen open after the shot? Now, does this mean it was left open? It was still open? Or that somebody passed through it after the shot? I would love to tell you. Because maybe... Must, the question should be answered yes or no, and justified by... We must 
The questions should be answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony we must the questions should be answered we must the questions should be answered because yes I'm or no because i'm thinking of like and, we must, there are the evidence things answered, that we yes, found we must, the questions should that be answered yes talk or about no. the doors you know must, like the it could be, be like answered, oh must, the ballistics the on the door frames so yes or no and that justified powder is from by the we must after the, the shot. questions should be answered we must the questions should be right, answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation actually put this there. we must the questions should be answered yes we must the questions should be answered yes or no we must the questions should be answered we must the questions should be answered yes or no and we just do this, we must the questions we'll should know. be answered yeah we we're must, gonna the well, at least narrow it down answered, yes or no we must the questions should be answered yes or we must the questions Very, should at least be answered another yes one is wrong. or no and we must the questions should be answered we must the questions should be answered yes or no and just if we must the questions should be answered we must the questions should be answered yes or no and we must the questions should be answered we must the questions should be answered yes or no we must the questions should be answered we must the questions should be answered yes or no and just now the twitter poll the, has officially must, ended so you want to see if the uh, must, scores the have updated yes yes or no. we must the questions there could be a coup answered a coup. yes or no and we must the questions should nope. be answered we the must, winner the is still be trials yes and simulations no. with 62 percent the questions should be answered yes or no we must siblings in crime gained a little bit the questions should be answered yes or no we must the questions should be answered. And then must, Instagram. The questions should be answered yes or no. We must. The questions should be answered. We must. The questions should be answered yes or no. We Trials must, and simulations with 80%. That got more votes too. The questions should be answered yes or no. Uh, and justified. And we how must, many people on Instagram voted? The questions should be answered. We must. The questions should be answered uh, yes or no. We the must, total the number of people that voted was 80 people. The questions should be answered yes or no. And justified by. We must. The questions should be answered. We must. The questions should be answered yes or no. So it's and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Let's go back to, do we have an idea of the weapon used for the crime? Let's, okay. Let's see, does anyone mention anything about the weapon here? So the doctor says there's a bullet. We know that. Placing something in her handbag I mean, in a cloud it, of smoke. I mean, to be fair, the question doesn't say kind of gun. So try doctor and see what happens. Uh, I guess we should put this other one back to what we think is right. Hold on. Yeah. The problem is I don't know which one is mostly correct here. But I think that one about Lieutenant Harrington talking about seeing the door is the biggest, biggest one, right? Yeah. It's the longest conversation about the door. He also has two of them. But I think it's the first time. Where were you at the pre precise spot at the moment of the murder? I was staying there. I could easily see the door. I'm gonna put that one as the yes. We must, I agree. We must. The questions should be answered yes or no, and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. We must. The questions should be answered yes or no. Okay. Okay. So. The doctor one you want to try. Yeah, just try it. We must have made the questions should be answered yes. Okay. We must have made the questions should be answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. These guys don't mention anything about the weapon. What about when the when Lavinia says, yeah, he gave it to me. Yes, like it's that. mine. He gave it to me. Why would you require a pistol? My father gave it to me shortly after I arrived. Mm hmm. We must have made the questions should be answered. We must have the questions should be answered. Yes. It's or weird no. that it says like, do we have an idea of the weapon? Yeah. Uh, the outlines are color coded and told the kind of evidence you need. And one of them is red. So that means it's telling us this one has to be a person. Right. Or a conversation. My eyesight is so deucedly poor. So 
we tried using him and saying no, right? Yeah. These guys don't know. I think it's gotta be... It's gotta be where he says the revolver. We must... The question should be answered... We must... The question should be answered yes or no, and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. Tell we lost Stodd because he's not complaining. <laughs> okay, what about uh, what about the one about the stairs? Now I'm like second guessing all of them though, and it messes up, messes up our system. Yeah. But the one about the stairs where we were like Mary. Uh, but at some point someone walked through and spilled food. Yeah, but that that happened before. Bromsby walked by after that, so that was like, but that wouldn't have been the person okay. who escaped. I can put, yes, though, try it. We must have made the question should be answered yes or no, and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. It was Lockhart and no. We must have made the question should be on. What if what about the guy that was standing on the stage with him? Does he say anything? Uh Gim Gimbal. Grimble. Uh Gryffindor. Two points to Grimble. <laughs> uh I was behind Sir Bromsby. I and I couldn't see anything of interest. I'm not convinced it's not Lavinia. I'm Sir Melvin Bromsby. Sad end to a great man. The rest is about him as a person. Ballot. Hmm. I didn't expect us to get this stuck here. Yeah. It's frustrating to me because we don't know which one's wrong. Mm-hmm. And so now there's now there's an infinite amount of possibilities. Yeah. This is where the Perot system is a little better, because they walk you through each thing. Well, you wanna look it up? Okay. I'm going to look it up, but I'm not going to tell you. If you're going to look it up, I'll s use Universal Hint System, uh, that website, because it'll only give you a little clue to, to get you going. It won't tell you the whole thing. Okay. I've never done this before. This is baby's first hint lookup. Hmm. Okay. I might have to do it on my computer. Uh... Oh, hold on. Anna's offering to do it. We could let Anne do it, so but we can still figure it out. You know? Okay, yeah. Anne, will you do it? Just tell us which one we have wrong, or, like, how many we have wrong. This universal hint system looks intense. It's been around. I've used that uh, for a decade or something. More than that. Well, and I could get a great deal off of an Epson color printer. Why well, you invent that? We must I do a lot answer. of printing. Let's check our answers. What if I just leave? Uh, your friend Garrett, who's I'm stealing as my friend. What? And I, and I are gonna have a meeting, and I get to meet the baby. Oh, Garrett has a cute baby. Johnny's 
Uh, Garrett is working for King Company, which is the theater company I help run. And uh, the artistic director, Johnny, has already got to meet the baby, and now we have a running uh, competition because I'm very jealous I didn't yes get to meet no. the baby. Ah, and just so the score the will finally be settled. Testimony received during Amazing. the investigation. Um, it's a very cute baby. I have I have seen the baby. Ooh. It basically is like, have fun doing it. <laughs> Doesn't tell us. Um, what is your title, Akeen? Or what are you like? How do you like to explain what you do? Because I've been asked, and I always say she sort of helps. She runs it, sort of. <laughs> uh, my title's technically managing producer. Managing producer. Oh. Uh, which I tell everyone, I just, Johnny does all the artistic stuff and I do all the paperwork. Most I... of them are no overwhelmingly. Okay, we have- Oh, that's interesting because I feel like, okay, yeah, go walk through. We walk do through. have a lot of no's. What, oh, this one wasn't clicked. That probably is bad. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that would have been why. Okay. All right, that's one option. We must. The question should be asked. I can't yes tell. Like no. my eyes can't and quite see what's clicked. I can see that it gets a little pinker. But it's yeah, during it's the investigation. Red. Okay. Um. They do provide solutions. Okay. Okay. We must have. The question should be answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. We must have made an The question should be answered yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony received during the investigation. I feel the side door one is going to be lamb and it's going to be no. And we're misunderstanding what that door is. We must have made I know we already did this, The but... question should be answered hmm. yes or no and justified by the evidence or testimony okay, they have received a hit during each the investigation. Question. Okay, and... Thank you. You're, be you're, being, you're being an excellent game master. Thank you. You are. Hit us with this... Um... Oh, wait. I totally question ruined this. Question one. I totally ruined this. Huh? Ryan... I think it's going to be no. I, I don't know. You think this is the lamb one? Yeah. We must have made the question should be answered yes or okay, no. Okay, you know the exact number of yeses. That's actually helpful. Will you tell us the exact number the of yeses? Or if you'd like, give us some kind of, you know, problem that gets us to the <laughs> no correct number of yeses. <laughs> Now, do you need us to subtract some kind of ancient Egyptian rain <laughs> date? Because we'll do it, but we'll do it wrong the first couple times. <laughs> Ryan, are those sour gummy worms? Mm-hmm. Ah. Uh, okay, so good. Okay, three yeses. We have three returns. Three. One. <laughs> Two. Three. We already have three. Okay. Okay, that, that's good though. So that means we're getting the people wrong, or well, you know, we, we they could they could be wrong also. But and give us a clue for do we have an idea of the weapon used for the crime? Question one. It's this one and the door one, right? Yeah. Which I think is four. <laughs> do you remember how the the one thing that like prevented us from playing games together more is i didn't want you to solve it before i did where i was like no let me figure is it out is that true well i was like i would i was i would tell you i'm like we're playing monkey island i'm like no you can watch but don't say anything because i'm trying to solve the puzzle myself but like i don't have that impulse anymore <laughs> like let's do it together but like at the time i was like no uh, i i want to know that i did it i'm gonna tell you 100 percent of that would have been me not solving it <laughs> but you you didn't want me to and even like talk out loud you wanted to like yeah 
Right, because I wanted to know I, when I finished it that I truly finished it myself. Now I don't. Yeah, on your on your own merit. Uh, I don't know if I can give you a hint here. Besides, it's not wrong. So it's correct. We, what we have is correct. Is what we have correct? Is what we don't have not correct? Is what we don't have what we don't need? <laughs> That also story is hilarious to me because we often forget our age gap, I feel like, because you would have been like 14 and I was eight. <laughs> <laughs> and you were like, don't tell me how to solve it. And I guarantee I did not know how to solve it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how insecure I was. But, no, but I appreciate that. I feel like you elevated, you had a higher respect for my uh, puzzle solving than I did. I mean, I think this has shown you absolutely how low my puzzle solving skills are you've been you've been deal doling out answers left and right in these games i feel like you're like <laughs> i pick up I, the cloth. i enjoy a mystery so i feel like i pick up on mystery tropes yes you like do. if you give me a foreshadowing then i pro then i can you know get us to what it, the plot might be right. but in terms of the mechanics of solving games you're so much better at that kind of stuff okay so we have this right that's why trials and simulations are we the first so one right Yes, okay, yeah. question four. Can you give us a clue on question four? Okay, but if we have the first one right, then we probably have the correct number of yeses and nos. Probably. Which means that this is probably no. So we just need to change the person. We've that tried logic isn't perfect, every so person. There are other here. options. I think we've tried every person with every yes, no. Although I'm sure I probably skipped one by accident. It's gonna be one we're super confident about, and that's the wrong one. This is partially, partially correct. Partially correct. Ooh. Side door going to the kitchen open after the shot. What does Lan actually say? I don't know what door they're talking about. Yeah, if they that's mean the side, that's what... If they mean the side outside door, who else did you talk to at that point? Okay. I mean, does, does, um, does Lambert have anything to say about it? Well, we know the, um... These guys don't know anything. There's another person outside you spoke to who you were not currently looking at. Oh, what about the guy that dropped his fake button? Sw I'm... Swatworth, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. Uh, I was near the stage. I saw him falling. It was terrifying. I ran for the door, but it was blocked. But he's not talking about that door. He's talking about the main doors, right? But maybe oh. that's the door he was talking about. Okay, let's try it. I don't know what the door is, but if he's saying a door was blocked, then maybe it is try it. It's itself, Watson. We have answered all the questions. And we never would have gotten there. Thank you. No, I did not get that's Excellent. the door he was talking about. Thank you, Anne. But so we only had that one wrong because the first one we had right, we just we never My we changed dear it back to what it was. I congratulate you on the yeah. precise quality of your notes. It is true that you have okay. missed everything of importance, like, but clearly. you have spared me the trouble of eliminating the trifles. <laughs> All right, a classic in insult right for the police. Already ah, up front. I hear familiar steps on the stairs. Please be seated, Watson. You must be famished. Lestrade was kind this is the new to Watson. You're fired. Notes, hoping it may be of assistance <laughs> in this affair. Indeed. They're having you like study them mango now and shaped enjoy like your meal. Fish. Please take your time, Watson, because bad digestion weakens our ability to reason. Holmes, you will get no argument from me, as this dish is delicious. We will go to Sheringford Hall with Lestrade when you're finished with your meal. I must read the documents Holmes gave me. Okay. We passed our first quiz. I feel like that's a good place to stop. What do you think? Same. What do we think so okay, far? Okay, I feel like I'm starting to get the rhythm of the game here, I feel like. Yeah? 
I need to pay a lot more attention to exactly what people say. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, there was and it's in, those it's, quiz questions were phrased very loosely. Yes. Uh, it's also good to know that unlike the previous game, which we were like always picking something up and using it immediately, it feels like this is closer to a world where we're like collecting things and then we're going to go back and like test them. Yeah. Which is good. So we don't spend a lot of time like shoving a picture of a pretty woman at strangers. <laughs> not that it would be that's wasted. For my work. <laughs> yeah, that's for my work hours. That's not for, that's what? not for my leisure hours. What woman are you carrying around? <laughs> I keep telling you to put that away. Um, I like the I like the quiz and I like that it was hard. Yeah, but I feel like the questions were it was hard not because we had there were like red herrings. It was hard because we didn't understand what was happening. Yeah, I mean some of it may still be a translation issue. Like it's all yeah, it flows and reads well, but sometimes it's like well I saw the door and it's like I don't know what door you're referring to. Um, yeah out of all the doors that we go through. Interesting. And right, like uh -uh. the side door going to the kitchen, why would yeah. Scather White, who was a guest, have tried to get out that? I, I just don't quite understand the logistics of it, but I'm sure I'm just missing something. Yeah. Um, but, um, yeah. I love, I love that we can play Sherlock and Watson. Love that. I love that there I genuinely love that we get to encounter a plethora of like mid-level character voices of turn of the century Britain. Yep. Like every time we get like a broad cockney or like a ridiculous high, you know, posh voice, I'm a big fan. Yes. Uh I mean, I could just sit here and do terrible British accents all day. So that I have an opportunity <laughs> to do that is so great. Um, and I am impressed that it feels like it's like building towards a real mystery. Like we're like, okay, we're like really putting clues together here and like trying to figure something out rather than being like, do mummies exist? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Only at the very end did Holmes say, I would never believe in mummies. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's nice that they did pay one more than one person to voice this game. Um, I like it so far. I was a little frustrated with with some of that question stuff, but that was pretty minor. And I agree with you that I had to get into the the like groove of knowing that it wasn't going to be an inventory puzzle game for the most part. Yeah. Um, uh, or at least not at this stage. But I really love talking to people in video games. And yeah. Like, getting clues that way. And then coming back to Baker Street and analyzing them, that's fun. Um, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So if anything, I would love some more... I would love a sprinkling of occasional, just like straight up puzzles, like yeah. a tile, you know, or like something more in an interactive puzzle. Yeah, I agree. Or like we, we, we have to figure out how to get a desk open so then we can get a clue or something like that. It, it could be a little more dynamic in what it's doing with objects when you're picking up four different things that are just powder. <laughs> yeah like, <laughs> yeah exactly and then he gets it back to i wonder if it's because we didn't have to find all of them because he gets it back to the lab and he's like oh these are all the same powder <laughs> like, i'm like well okay i think i think i do think that that was supposed to be a clue though because we found them in different places right, and we're like were oh all... so we like followed a trail right so whoever was smoking that cigarette was it was in all those places and was the likely yeah. perpetrator, right yeah i guess so Interesting. Maybe also it's just the first chap. Do you know of any, do we have any sense of our progress in the game so far? I've not looked any of that up. I don't know. Do you know how many chapters? No. Because it's also possible that we sort of overthought the first chapter and now we're going to like be in the flow of it and maybe it does get harder. Like maybe there are puzzle boxes and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, and I also, we were like resisting, like trying to go outside because we we're like, well, that's for later. But then once we did, that was what you had to yeah. do, right? So. Uh, yeah. At least there was stuff out there we could do. So, yeah. Yeah. I'm excited. I can't wait to play more. This has been really fun. It feels like such a breath of fresh air from after oh, playing the God. previous one. Literally. I felt like we were in a cellar for weeks in that game. <laughs> Truly. And it's an interesting kind of weird middle ground between the first one we played and Perot. Yeah. Right. It's trying or to Perot be... and the first Sherlock we played. 
you can see the evolution. Like this was, we're still back in the sort of, not old days, because this is like 2006 or something. So this, this is still past the heyday of adventure games, but like definitely before they got more training wheelsy, like Perot is, where you really can't miss the, the clues. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm curious at how wrong we can go here. Right. Although that quiz seems to suggest that like eventually we have to write course. Yes. They didn't let us leave places until we'd find, found everything. Yeah, I know specifically in the later Frog Wars games, you can get stuff wrong and keep moving forward and with the wrong conclusion. Um, you can just accuse the, the wrong person. Yeah. Send them to jail for life. Yeah, I think so. Um, I think there's some, in some game modes, you know, Holmes will stop you and in some he won't. It'll be like, sure, whatever. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, thanks so much, everybody, for joining us once again. Uh, we'll see you next Friday uh, for another episode of Trials and Simulations. <laughs> The people have spoken. <laughs> it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Uh, I feel like... Now that we have a title, we need to start working on a theme song. Oh, boy. Okay. All right. <laughs> uh, How's this one? There's so many trials coming at us. We're siblings and so they're called simulations. Trials and simulations. Here it goes now. Trials and simulations. Everybody. everybody knows now. Trials and simulations.